We're going to start the show in a few minutes. Let's get to about 100 followers and then we'll start. First thing I want everybody to do is I need you guys to tell me where you're watching from. And also, um, I need you to press share so that other people can know that this show is going on. It's a show I'm going to do every, maybe every week, maybe every day, but it's a pilot show. And I'm calling it Pineapple Spirituality Show. Okay, Pineapple Spirituality Show. Now, I'll explain you why I chose the pineapple. I know you're looking at my earrings. It's a pineapple. And, of course, the color of my dress. I'll have a uniform for the show, this dress. I have, like, three of these dresses. Kind of like what Sabina and some of these other comedians do. They have a uniform. So let's get to 100. So I want everybody to click share, and we'll start the show. Okay, we're at 67. Come on, guys. Usually when I do live shows in the afternoon, I get to like 1,000, 2,000. We're going to be talking about spirituality as it affects the death of Herbert Wigway. And I'm going to talk about other things, what I'm doing, because this is my first live show since I retired. And I'm going to be doing a little... I'm going to do a lot, a lot of things, but a little differently, so I want to explain that. Okay, we're at 100 now. I need to know where you guys are watching from, so can you guys comment? Okay, you can support me by sending stars, came from Facebook, not from me. So Daniel, if you don't want to support, you don't need to be on the show and you don't need to announce it. So if you don't want to support, okay, that stars thing, it doesn't come from us, the creator. It's Facebook that automatically puts that there. If you don't want to support or you cannot support or you don't have ability to buy stars because of one reason or the other, the Naira card and all that, don't announce it and don't post it. Okay, I don't need to hear it. Just don't say anything. I want to know where people are watching from, and I want everyone to share. Okay, and then we'll start the show. I don't need any spamming. I'm not a journalist practicing anymore. Okay, this is not a journalism page anymore. This is my personal page. All right, and I'm doing different things after journalism. A lot of you are very toxic. Okay, you bullied me out of journalism. I could have worked another 10 years, but no, you have to bully people. I will not allow those people back on this platform. So be careful. If you don't have anything to say, just shut up, okay? Ngoz is watching from Germany. Adebayo, Nigeria. Belgium, okay? I need more comments, guys. I need to know, like, who I'm talking to. I don't want to give information out, and it's like people that don't even appreciate it. Mostly those in Nigeria, you know, only a few. Only 10% of my followers really are intelligent in Nigeria. The rest 90 is just a mess. Angel Angel, watching from the USA. Angel, be careful with that double name because everyone with a double name has been yanked because we don't like fake accounts. You know, I personally don't like them. People who have names like that are scared to put their real name online because they're hiding something. And I'm not going to argue that, you know. Kenji, I don't need your opinion. I said, look, put where you are watching from. Nobody knows how God operates. I don't want anyone's opinion. Let me do my show. Okay, when it comes to opinion time, then I'll have you comment. Okay, it's better than not that you comment. I'm not opening comments on my page because I can't babysit people. All right? If you want to comment on my page, you have to comment reasonably and you have to respect to the person that owns the page. I'm not going to tolerate any bullshit anymore. Okay? Okay, Canada is awake now. So we have Obi from Canada. 
Alabi from AKC, Bella Gold from Germany. It's okay to put your flag, not a problem. Okay, the Cameo Luna you're watching is not the same when I was doing journalism. I'm a totally different person now. Okay, I'm no longer in journalism. I did not quit journalism. Guys, I retired. 30 years was enough for me. Everyone at the BBC retired at 30 or 31, okay? And 30 was enough for me. I'm doing other things now, okay? And I call myself a spiritual evangelist because there's some things that happen to me that I know it's not normal, okay? They're spiritually divine. There were many things in Nigeria that I analyzed in news and it happened. And all of you are shouting, oh, I'm better than TB Joshua. Kemi can predict anything. If you were not in my circle at that time, then you didn't know because they told you that I was a crazy mad woman. So you didn't know what I was doing. The problem with those people that said, I mean, you know, better than TB Joshua, she predicted this and that, is not so much of religion. I'm not religious. I'm spiritual. Okay, I'm not religious. I'm not a pastor. I didn't go to pastor school. I didn't go to theology school. I didn't get ordained as a pastor. And I'm not a prophet. Okay, the word prophet is a lie. There's no such thing as a prophet in this world. No such thing. The last prophets, and I repeat, the last prophets were in the Bible. When Daddy Freeze wanted to start his church ministry, he went to ask somebody for help. As in, please educate me. How come you're able to talk about men of God so freely? Please give me a lecture. That person gave Daddy Freeze a two-hour lecture on what to know, what to do. He went to get advice before he started his successful spiritual show every Sunday. Do you know who that person was? It was me, Kemi Olunoyo. These are things we don't even tell you. Okay, so I'm starting my own ministry and it's an evangelical spiritual ministry. In other words, I'm not in the world with you. That's why I close my comment. I don't want to be in the world with you guys. You guys are in the world. I'm out there in another spiritual realm, okay? I'm not religious. Busala Olujinro is telling you there in the comments, okay? Everything you have said has come to pass. It is spiritual. It's not religious, all right? Something I said to IPOB when they were shouting Biafra or death in March of 2016. These things are on the internet. This is why they say the internet never forgets. March of 2016, Biafra or death. I actually supported IPOB in the whole thing about evils are marginalized. Yeah, I supported them. You can see the story in the punch. Okay? There is no prophets in the world. The last prophets were the ones, Elijah, the ones you read in the Bible. Okay? Every single prophet in the world is a lie. All right? I will explain that to you. Some of the stuff you've already heard from Daddy Freeze came from my inspiring Daddy Free. Okay? If you don't want to watch the show, just spin. Leave the show. I'm not going to be interrupting my show. I will not talk. I will just simply block people off my page. Okay, now, I have always been someone into spirituality because I follow the Dalai Lama. If you don't know who the Dalai Lama is, make sure you're following him on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Okay, this is the Chinese guy that's in exile, the Tibet guy, the Tibetan monk. Okay, many things the Dalai Lama said is exactly how this realm works. God created planets, okay? The moon is up there, Mars, Venus, everything. Are people living up there? Human beings have tried to get up there to find out. NASA, space shuttle explorations. Is there life in Mars? Is there life in Venus? Is there life in anything? The reason why he created those and he put all the human beings on Earth is because we all are in a different spiritual realm. When Americans went to the moon, they got to the moon, they were not in Earth anymore. They were in a different realm over there. So wake up and know how the spiritual realm works. Like Basala Aludira just said, everything I said came to pass. Going back to IPOB, I warned IPOB that I'm not going to be in this movement anymore if I hear Biafra or death because that's advocating violence. Stop using Biafra or death because Wari will just proclaim you as a terrorist group before you know it. March 2016, exactly 17 months after they said that, okay, October of 2017, IPOB was proscribed as a terrorist group. And be like, ah, Kemi was right, Kemi was right. There were so many things I analyzed in news, but to you, the news reader, you call it, you predict it. I didn't predict those things. I'm a news analyst. I trained to know how to do it. You see red flags and you can see them. You know, okay? 
Okay, you know them. Prince or Che, I didn't ask for your opinion, okay? Stop saying what you don't know about prophet. There's no such thing as a prophet. If you disagree, unfollow the show or get blocked. Okay, this is not a journalism page anymore. There are many things that I've analyzed in news and I was right about them. When Musala Dakolo said that Fatou Yebo raped her, I decided I wanted to investigate that case for two reasons. One, the money I'm going to make from that case, from the traffic when I'm bringing out the facts, okay? I need to make money as a journalist, and that's what I did. Two, to uncover the truth on why she did it. These guys were bankrupt. They had no money for their house. They were losing everything, and they needed to extort someone. They came up with this story about Musala was raped and all. I mean, look at how it ended. How did it end, guys? Did the police update it after? Were they not, did they not go to fight Tony Bull's house to see some things and everything? How did that case end it? The police didn't update anything. It just ended. It just went away, right? But I'm the one that solved the case. Anything I'm doing, if you think the police are not looking, they are. And they're calling me on the other phone. All right? They have the money to investigate, but they don't have the time. And the people that are going to give them the money will not release the funds. So they'll go to an investigative journalist who is doing all the work. Okay, go ask Ghana police in Ghana. They'll tell you what happened with the Kachi case, all right? Now, spirituality is not religion. When you, if you want to know about spirituality, learn it. Don't just say this one, that one. I've taught you about angel numbers. I did 10 videos about 111, 222, 333, 444. The main angel number. Angels gather at a certain time to do their meetings. You need to understand spirituality before you can actually practice it. I want to thank Facebook because we're now on live ads. And live ads is another way to propel my monetization. So thank you, Facebook. I'm now on live ads. This face. This page is one of the first fan pages in, in the Facebook history and the first one in Nigeria and the first to go live and the first to be verified. So after 11 years, they now give me live ads. So there's some things I can't really promote or say or something. I'm not restricted, but you know what I mean. Um, I will teach you the teachings of the Dalai Lama because the old man is very old now and not everybody understands that. There are some people in this world that are called the chosen ones. And I told you I'm one of the chosen ones. Nothing can change that. Okay. My ears are amplified in this side. I can hear as far back as two mouths. Okay. I'm blind in one of my eyes. I can only see with one eye. But I can see very well. But nobody even knows that. Because they see two eyes. They're like, oh, something. Okay. All these ones happened in the accident, in the Ali Moscow accident. Some things that were destroyed in my body became very powerful. Okay, and... Like I said, I'm not in the same realm as you. Okay, I'm in the spiritual realm, you're in the earthly realm. If you want to join to the spiritual realm, tune into this show whenever I hear it. Now, predictions. Sometimes, spiritual things skip. Okay, just like what happened with the Adele case. Look at what their grandmother said. Okay, I've already gone through this. If you want to hear it again, it's different, but I've already gone through this. The grandmother cursed a generation of a tribe, and it just skipped one week, you know, and all the children in that tribe all died. Did I know that woman? No, I wasn't even born. But the people that were born will tell the stories to others who will now tell you. My dad told me this entire story. And at the end of that, people like David, who don't even know their great grandmother, will not hear the stories and then you, his fans, will be saying, I'm the mad woman. Listen to your spirituality. Do you know your grandfather's father? No, you don't. And some of you don't have any heritage. If you don't know what heritage is, a lot of people don't know what heritage is. In Potaka prison, 11 girls came in pregnant. One by one, they go to the hospital to deliver their babies. 
they were in what they call a baby factory. Two men would impregnate 11 girls and they would have the babies and they'll sell the babies. That baby grows up and it's a young man. You know that baby doesn't know his real father or his real mother because that baby grew up in a home where somebody paid 1.2 million for that baby. So that baby has no heritage. Does that child know their father's father? Or should we even say those that know their family? You know, um, what's the name of that family in Lagos? The husband and wife just married, Kufu Abayomi. I've told the story. I've shut down TikTok now. I don't know if I want to ever use that again. I've told the story of Kufu Abayomi. Husband and wife, they got married. They shot the husband. Months after the wedding, it was a lawyer and he was shot in a court case. The woman now married someone else and told that person to change their name to Kufu Abayomi. They wanted the new husband to change the name to the old husband that was killed. And the man agreed. Why did he do it? Probably because the other one had money. I don't know. But when they got married, they had children. All those children were bearing the name Kufu Abayomi. One of those children is my age now. And I asked him, I said, now that you know all this history, that you are really not a Kufu Abayomi, you are the son of this man that married your mom. Do you want to remove that Kofu Abayomi name now? Or you still want to go with that legacy? That's what I'm talking about, heritage. Because many of you don't know these stories and you really need to know them. Those of you wishing me death, I wouldn't drink sniper again. You think it's a joke, right? Okay. I'm blocking people, sorry. We'll be there. If you have written any comment about me not drinking sniper anymore, you better delete it before I get to it. Good. Blocked. Everybody blocked. What did I just talk about? Heritage. Did you guys understand what heritage means after the Kofu Abayomi story? A very popular street in Victoria Island, elite family. But everyone in that family is not even Kofu Abayomi. It's because their grandmother married another man and asked that man to become Kofu Abayomi. I don't care, don't write that kind of comment. You, mo you most times make sense. I make sense all the time. You need to use your brain all the time. I don't need any prayers on my site. I've lived like that since I was 13, but thanks. Listen carefully to what I'm saying, all right? There's freedom of speech, but you have to be careful what you say on my page. You cannot come to my page and tell me, Shibi, you wanted to drink Sniper. Haven't you drank it? You can't do that. Okay, because if you encourage somebody to commit suicide, and this is actually sniper, and I drink it on this live and I die, they will blame you, but nothing's going to happen. Don't encourage suicide. While we're doing this live, do not reply anybody. If I see anybody replying anybody, that means you're out of the live. You need to focus on what I'm saying. I Nzube Chuku, thank you. No speaking in any language but English. You'll be blocked, okay? Because a lot of you delay my work and I wouldn't allow it. James Ikejuku, thank you. You cannot force anyone into spirituality, okay? Pineapple Spirituality Show is the name of my show. 
And I would, you know, Ari Shekola, thanks for the 20 stars. I would explain to you, I like pineapples because it was a fruit I could not eat throughout my childhood. Listen carefully to what I'm talking about, because there's some things I would say here no one can verify it except my own family. And I have no relationship with my family. Pineapples, I could never eat as a child, because every time I ate pineapple, Wumi, how are you? Any, any time I ate pineapples, okay, Wumi, please tell Ambassador to share, to send his contact through KJ, and then tell him to share the sad Valentine um, video that he just uploaded on Facebook. He's going to get it on Instagram, but if I was share, Sad Valentine, you know it's Valentine again. Yeah, I don't celebrate all these things. Um, so, as we're saying, they told me that I couldn't eat pineapple throughout. So when they bought a pineapple and they cut the juicy pineapple into the plate, all the other children in the house would be eating and I'm the only one that couldn't eat it. That's what I was told by my own family. Every time I ate the pineapple, I would start wheezing and have a terrible asthma attack. They rushed me to UCH. So there was one time I decided I wanted to eat the pineapple anyway. Behind them, and I became sick. I would be wheezing, wheezing. Not knowing that, Wumi, um, she was going to say, I um, I posted to Instagram, no, you know what I'm saying. So, to buy to post it, you know, but if I share it on Facebook, he hasn't posted on Instagram that I see. Now, when I ate the pineapple without my parents knowing, I got very sick, I was wheezing, I was taken to the hospital, and I told them that's what I ate. Not knowing as a child that the reason why I couldn't eat the pineapple was because they had done a skin test at UCH that showed all the allergens that I, couldn't, I shouldn't contact because of my bad asthma. I lived in the University College Hospital in Ibadan for six months and I was intubated. Dust is one of them, Hamatan dust. I had a hard time with Hamatan when I was in Nigeria. Hamatan dust, pineapple, and a few other things. I then went abroad at 14. When I got abroad, they sell pineapple rings inside cans with the water of the pineapple inside. So I look left, I look right, I opened the can of pineapple in the house and I started eating pineapples and nothing happened. Nothing happened. I didn't eat the regulars, but nothing happened. And I called Nigeria and I told Jack Akbojumobo, thank you. Thank you for writing that comment, learning attentively. If others can learn attentively, they'll pick something. And I called Nigeria and I told my mom and dad that I'm eating pineapple in the UK. How come I couldn't eat it at home? The doctor and I told them that it's because she's eating processed pineapple in the can. They've taken all the allergens out. You know that thing on pineapple, that black spot that's on every whatever? This thing here, these holes, they are taking it out. And if you notice, if you see pineapple in the can, in the rings, it's not there. And it's processed it. So I started eating pineapple at 15 years old. Something I could not eat as a child. That's spiritual. And I'll tell you why the spirituality part is. If I would stayed in Nigeria, and I had no access to that kind of pineapple, I would never be able to eat pineapple all my life. So that's why I named this show Pineapple Spirituality Show. If you want to eat a pineapple, can you eat a pineapple like you can eat an apple? If you want to eat an orange, do you take that orange and put it in your mouth and bite it? Or you peel it first before you bite it? No one bites an orange. They peel it first. Can you bite into an apple or a peach or you have to peel it first? I see people, some people peel their apple because of pesticides and all. But an apple was designed to be bitten right through. A pear, bitten right through. A peach, bitten right through. If you want to eat a banana, do you have to unpeel it before you eat it? Yes. So there's some things in spirituality you have to understand. What is preventing us from biting into a pineapple? 
If a pineapple is like this, why don't we just bite into it? There are spikes all around it. And we have to cut those spikes out. Okay, so your world is like a spike. But the problem is you're letting people into your world. Don't let people go through your spikes. There's a limitation in spirituality. Okay, Femi, you are here. Ambassador, she won't hear. Bami, she sad. Bami, she has sad Valentine real to she. Sad Valentine real to she. Oh, Bami, Laliano, Kimbao, wow. Only Kimbao, oh, Monkong. We are sharing message. Sorry. Ambassador, oh, yes, you upload there. Oh, long upload right now. Because what we're doing is we're, we're branding the page. Rich KJT Music on Facebook. We're branding the page. Just hear him. That kind of stuff. Um, Paul Eckerson, I didn't ask for your opinion. Okay? Pineapple has nothing to do with spirituality. It happened because it's your system. You're stupid. I clearly said just now that I eat pineapples now. Okay? Listen and pick something. If you don't agree... Okay, if you don't agree, don't come up with anything. I didn't ask for your opinion. Listen. If you are intelligent, you have asked the question an intelligent person would ask, which is where I'm going now. Femi Jeko upload song. Olo, Olo, upload the law. But most of you transfer it just like that into Instagram. Only let it download there. But Instagram will not let it download with the music. So I'm going to add music again. See, Instagram. He posted something last night, but it's a meme. We're, we're trying to really brand the page and all that because... My gist to everything, Sha. Rich KJT Music on Facebook and Instagram. Please follow. Pick something instead of talking, talking, talking. There are times you need to shut up. Okay, and not talk a lot. In England, I started eating pineapples in a can. The doctor said it was processed. And that's it. Pineapple has nothing to do with spirituality. Everything has a lot to do with spirituality. Can you tell me where your late grandmother is? Or your late brother or sister? Or your late co-worker? Why can't they come back? That's spirituality. Learn how spirituality works. Where do they go? Why is Tyler Henry talking to dead people? And sending messages to their loved ones? Imagine Tyler Henry telling somebody. If you don't know Tyler Henry, learn. These are people who talk to dead people. This is spiritual people. Know who we are. We are the chosen ones. God didn't choose you. He chose us. But then you might be a member of the chosen ones, but you don't know. You don't know what the chosen ones. That's why all of you are screaming because I said somebody's football, somebody's going to lose a football game. You don't know anything about spirituality. You're fucking religious. You're very, very religious. Quit religion. Spiritual people read the Bible and we quote the Bible, but there's something about religion that's different. You need to know. What was making me eat the pineapple when I got abroad? Okay, then I shifted to America. I was still eating pineapples in the can. And then one day in America, I decided to eat fresh pineapples. How do you eat fresh pineapples in America? The first time I bought a pineapple in America, I cut it and I ate it, nothing happened to me. Then I discovered that there was something called pesticides that you might be allergic to. We, did we know if the pineapples in Nigeria had pesticides that I was allergic to? I was picked up in the skin test in UCH rather than saying she can't eat pineapples. Could it be the pesticide I was reacting to? Those are questions you need to look at. Spiritually. Okay, we don't know. Then I got to America. I started eating apples. And then I couldn't eat the red apple. Every time I bit into a red apple, I started itching my eyes, my body, everywhere started itching. I couldn't eat red apples. Later I found out some of the apples in America, whether they're red, green, or yellow, they were sprayed with insecticide in the farm. So I was reacting to the insecticide. 
I had pineapples with no problem. Most pineapples in America are coming from South America. They're not coming from Africa. They have those pineapples that are like this, and those ones that are elongated that they call Kuchoni pineapple, those African ones and Ghanaian ones. So as I grew up, spiritually looking at all these things, it was nothing but insecticide. Insects ate through so many plants and insecticides were sprayed. If we had forgotten about it, I would never have eaten pineapple the whole of my life. There were so many recipes. Pineapple ginger. Imagine pineapple ginger. Do you remember that video when I was in Ghana? When I went to Ghana, when I traveled over there for the assignment. Do you remember that video of the man selling the pineapple in the truck? And he was selling pineapple juice and ginger. Imagine me say, oh, give me this. I drank it. Nothing happened. If I didn't find out, my tolerance to pineapple, I wouldn't have known. And I would have just sat here thinking I'm allergic. Every time they offered me, I'm allergic to pineapple. That restaurant that I went to in California that I was eating, what was I eating there? One shrimp and pineapple um, hors d'oeuvre. Remember that one that I videoed? The shrimp was sitting big on top of the pineapple. And I was eating the pineapple and all that. If I didn't find out my tolerance for pineapple, I would never be able to eat something like that. Know your tolerance for things in the world. That's spirituality. Okay, this is not about pineapple or shrimp. It's about your tolerance. Something they've told you you can't do and you can actually do is about spirituality. Okay, pick the right messages. Each time I eat orange, my body will not be the same. So I decided to quit orange. Jessica, what happens to your body? Tell me what happens to your body. While I'm doing my spiritual evangelism, I want to know what happens to people in the earthly realm that could be different in the spiritual realm. Did you have more acid shooting out of your body? Did you have heartburn? Because people with heartburn should not be eating oranges a whole lot. Because the citric acid in the orange will aggravate the heartburn. So you start to have heartburn. And you will need antacids or you will need a tablet called omeprazole or others in the same class. They're all over the counter. So, we now carry Jessica to London Okay, you feel weak and dizzy. Citric acid is working. When you're weak or dizzy, your blood pressure is affected. It might be that you cannot tolerate acidic foods. So, you go to the chemist tomorrow and buy a meprazole. Okay? They sell it in a sachet of 28. Or maybe seven, I don't know. They won't break the pack. But go get omeprazole. Or an antacid, liquid antacid. You know what antacid is? When you eat a lot of hot stuff, pepe, or hot, anything hot, or fatter stew, acid shoots out of your stomach. You feel weak, you feel dizzy. Take an antacid and then eat an orange. Let's see what happens. Can you drink orange juice? If we carry Jessica to the UK or to Florida, the home of orange juice, will she be able to drink orange juice in a hotel, in a supermarket? Possibly yes, and she wouldn't feel weak and dizzy. But that orange could be doing something to you. Afion Bassi, thank you. Emefa Letza, thank you. Life is spiritual. And I want you to be spiritual too. I'm not carrying you away from religion. I personally have not been in a church for 20 years. You know where I worship? In the same church that I used to go. Lakewood Church is in Houston, Texas. When I left America initially, even all the churches I went to, I can't access those churches, but I want to access the service. So I go online. And I still watch Lakewood. 
till today. Those of you asking me what happened last Sunday, we were all watching live and everything went on. There was a shooting inside Lakewood. Somebody brought a gun in and honestly, we were just so lucky. You know, the police took that person down. Imagine if there's a mass shooting in a church. And then all the Republicans um, supporters or NRA supporters were like saying like guns, let's see how much prayers will have. No thoughts on prayers that we we'll see, how much prayers can be whatever. Ambassador, very deep. Life is spiritual. Douglas is able to say, even if I can trigger the body. Yes, because it's cassava. And cassava has a poison inside it. If you don't, if you don't, Emmy Abbey, are you calling me a witch? Let me remove you. I will not appreciate that. If you don't process the cassava well, you can die. The people that make Gary are very careful because that poison is right there and it's cyanide. Why did God put poisons in some of the foods he created us to eat? Because he wanted us spirituality to go inside those foods and remove the poison. That's spirituality, not religion. There is a food in Nigeria and one in Ghana, a check it, that if you're not careful the way you fry Gary, or the way you cut the cassava things. The food in Nigeria is called abacha. The cassava that they use in abacha must be soaked well because of the gas. There is cyanide in there. If it's not done properly, you can die. So if you're buying abacha as they carry it around, hawking it, be careful. Each time you buy hawked abacha, you're taking a risk because you don't know where they made it or how they made it. So there are no prophets. Everything is spiritual. Auntie Queen, we're not doing a medical show, unfortunately. We're talking about spirituality. Go to your doctor if you're feeling uncomfortable. Hope you feel better. Now, I'm going to start to talk about Herbert Igwe. I wanted to give you like a really deep sense of what spirituality is. I want everyone now to type me one person. This is a phone, okay? This is my iPhone. This is my iPhone and I'm doing my life with my Android. Nelson. You're welcome, but Nelson, it's knowledge, but it's really not knowledge. It's spiritual knowledge because people don't know this. You know what I mean? I want everybody now to type, before I start talking about it, we wait. I want everybody, my W thing on my phone is crazy. So, a lot of places yesterday I typed Igwe instead of wig way. I had to put typo, typo. So this is my iPhone. I'm giving it to you, okay? And asking you to make a phone call to somebody you love. It doesn't have to be your family. It can be your family, it can be your co-worker, it can be anybody. I want you to type someone that has left us in the earthly world. Someone that has died. Type the person you would call with my phone. If I told you this is the spiritual phone. Anyone in heaven, you can reach them on this phone. Type me someone. I want you to see who you type. In my own, I will type my brother's name. Ambassador, you met my brother while he was alive, Tayo, before he died. He suffered. I will call Tayo now. Hi, Tayo, how are you? Uh, how are we doing? Nigeria is messed up right now. Dollar is 1,500. Tayo will ask me what's the dollar. I'll tell him 1,500. <sighs> I can't wait to come over there. And then you'll be scared to say that because you can't wait to die and go to heaven. In spirituality, we believe that when we die, we're going to see our loved ones. We're not seeing them. 
you're actually not going to meet them again. Wherever you go up there, you are not meeting your loved ones again. I've seen people commit suicide. A woman commits suicide in a born state because her son died in a car crash. The next day, she swallows swiper, sniper and died. People were saying, ah, she loved her son, her only child. Now they're together. How do you know they're together? Go listen to Michael Jackson's sister, Janet. Together again. Everywhere I go, everywhere I be. You know the song. The next question I have here. Type somebody that you want to speak to now. Cynthia said she totally agrees on the cassava talk, that that happened to her. Be careful when you're buying cassava products, especially as fast foods like abacha. Because if they don't soak that cassava well, it will release the gas and that's cyanide. Cyanide will kill you like crazily fast. Everybody has who they want to talk to. Ambassador, MC Ambassador wants to talk to Pastor Ademulego. Somebody wants to talk to their parents. Uh, Joel wants to talk to his twin brother. Everybody has somebody you want to talk to here. Amaka Joy says, my sister, we lost her two days ago. Oh, my condolences, Amaka. Everybody has somebody they want to talk to. Spirituality is the thought of where are they now. Have you ever opened an internet or Facebook page and you see celebrities in America, in Nigeria or somewhere, where are they now? You see they were famous when they were younger and the older 20, 30 years ago. And then you'll now see that they're not dead, they're alive, but the caption will say, where are they now? Ooh, I'm seeing a lot of things here. My late dad, my son. Oh, sorry, everybody. So I'm trying to explain to you about the realm of spirituality. Fortunate, thanks for the thousand stars. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. I mean, I don't celebrate it too. But every day is a day of love. None of you know, okay, what someone is going through. Harris, let me answer that question. Ghana fufu does not go through fermentation, so we're still alive. Yes, true. The fufu in Ghana, they don't ferment their cassava. They boil it straight. And they, that's why it doesn't have the smell. And that's why I've not been able to eat cassava um, fufu in Nigeria, the smell. When we passed by Ghana, yeah, it tasted good. I ate it. Olayinka Koyi Davis said, my children. There's somebody that's lost their children there. There's so much you don't know about people. I don't want people to write those things, but I want you guys, Jeremiah, don't spam those stars. When they say stars, you have to buy them. Please, no spamming. I'm only telling you for your good because the spam filter is on. I've educated everybody about this so much. If you want to send me stars, buy them, send them. Okay, Nigeria, stop. Because if the spam filter notices that you spam something, even some of you even put in Happy Valentine's, three, three emojis are okay. If they see too many, it'll block you immediately. Because I hate spam. That's why most of the time, I'm not even going to open comments. Too much spamming. If I'm going to open comments, everybody's going to talk about how I wanted to drink Sniper or something. I don't need that. Okay, suicidal ideation is with everybody every day. Be careful how you laugh about people with suicidal ideation. You were not in Potaka prison with me. You were not in, in, in SARS with me when I was watching executions of young people. 
I've always said I have PTSD. I gave PTSD awareness in Nigeria, but some of you are still making fun of it. Yabo Ujo made fun of my PTSD. That's why I went for her juggler. Tonto DK made fun of my PTSD. Just love her, their blog. Everybody that's making fun. Do you know why Robin Williams committed suicide? He had a lot of money, he was always smiling. Do you know why Miss USA committed suicide? She had a great job, she was a lawyer, she was on TV, she was doing her thing. Do you know why Ellen DeGeneres' DJ committed suicide? He had a perfect life. You don't know what people are going through. Some of you are going through some things now you can't even mention. Ambassador, let's ask a question. Everybody on this slide, let's ask a question. Does anyone know how many children I have? Yes or no? Or what you read on the internet? If you know how many children I have, type it in. How many children do I have? Boys, girls, just type it in. Some of you are going through a lot. Alaya Masco said I have three children. Semi said I have three children. Where did you hear that I have three children? What are the sexes of them? Okay, Favor Blink said three sons. Did you hear from me? Or you heard online? Tega Diane said four. Three boys, three men, three, okay. Five children, Sonny says. Some of you are not getting right. Did you hear it from me? Or you read it online because I told you or you saw it. All right. How many people did I have my three children for? I've seen a lot online. Three boys from three men. Did you hear that online or you heard that from me? Somebody said I have one boy. And that's Rich KJT, right? Because that's the only one you know. Online, okay? Everyone has different. Someone said I have two. Heard online. Not everything you hear online is true. Do you know I have one son that I have not seen for 21 years? One of my children, I have not seen him since Valentine's Day. 2003. Did you guys know that? You don't know what somebody is going through spiritually. I have a child who's an adult and I have not seen for 21 years today. Temi Taya said, why? We don't even know where it is. Nobody even knows where my son is. But he's alive. Favor Blinks, you didn't know. Where did he go and what happened? That is it. Billy Kissu said, yes, he's a special need. No, it's not my autistic son. My autistic son is in Philadelphia. And it's not Rich KJT. It's my second child. He's 32 years old. See? No. This is the first time I'm hearing it. Aisha Adams, oh God. Do you know what people are going through? No, you don't. But you wish them suicide, you wish them death, you wish them bad things. You fight for people who don't even know you exist. Somebody said, oh, why does she always get into things that don't concern her? You don't know what a journalist does? If you pull journalists from every kidnapping, Please help me. Somebody came to me yes, just yesterday. Please help me. They kidnapped my children. They're going to behead my family. There's a lot of stuff journalists have to involve themselves. But when we don't involve ourselves anymore, your life is in danger. Do you have a family member that you don't know where they are? Anybody knows who Anderson Cooper is? 
I need to know first. Type. Do you know where Anderson Cooper is? Do you know who Anderson Cooper is? Does anyone know who that is? Anderson Cooper. Have you ever heard that name? CNN, Anderson Cooper Show. You guys know who Anderson Cooper is now? The CNN guy, Alea, yeah. Anderson Cooper is the son of a very big designer. In the 80s, a very popular clothes designer. Ikenna, thank you. They don't know that only a journalist would tell the story. Someone actually said, I always get into things that don't concern me. If I didn't tell you about Davido and Chioma, what would you know? That's what they call entertainment news. It entertains you. Celebrity news, gossip. You like gossip. Anderson Cooper is from a family. Herwitt Austin, thanks for the stars. Is from Gloria Vanderbilt. Thank you, Max. Anderson Cooper is the son of Gloria Vanderbilt. One of Gloria Vanderbilt's four children. She had four children for four different husbands. Four children for three different husbands. One of Gloria Vanderbilt's children committed suicide. He jumped from the 18th floor of the New York apartment. Mrs. Vanderbilt said he used his asthma inhaler and a side effect happened in the inhaler that made him do that. Even though many medical experts and the company, drug company, did not believe it, but she believed it. Very rich family, right? Do you know there's one son in that family that estranged from Vanderbilt and the father? That boy walked away and wanted nothing to do with his mother and his father. Evelyn, you're right. The original Nigerians don't know the importance of journalism. They will learn from the new ones coming. Me, I'm out of it. Till today, almost 35 years, Anderson has not seen his brother. He's estranged from the family. Anderson is uh, a he, CNN anchor. Anderson is not the only surviving son of glory. I don't know whether you're Googling that somewhere on Wikipedia. She's not. Three of them are alive, only one died. And one is estranged from the family. I raised my son myself till he was eight years old. And his dad said he wanted custody because he felt his life was in danger because of my autistic son. My autistic son was very violent when he was younger. He injured me a lot of times. You have not even heard that story. He injured everybody. He destroyed the house. You don't even know my story. Those who are ready to hear it heard it on YouTube. There's a video there. But at the end of the day, we went to court and he was given custody to his father. And I can visit him because he's lived with me eight years. So we switched on a court order. When he got to his new house, he fought so many times with his stepmother. He claimed that they made him the house boy in the house. He claimed that he did all the washing, the dishes, and he also claimed that he was the one babysitting all the children of his auntie and his uncles. Like, every single time they want to go out to a party, to Owambe, they will bring all their children to their house and he has to babysit. He had no teenager life. He couldn't go out with his own friends and everything. Are you guys listening carefully? Then he had a fight with the stepmother. They said he slapped her. They beat each other. And then they said my son was arrested, which is standard in America. 
You're welcome, Evelyn. Welcome to the show. All along here, I'm sitting here on my own, and this is everything that happened at my son's father's house. When my son was released from prison or jail, whatever it was, short term, I don't know what happened to the charges. I think they were dropped, but he was arrested for beating up his stepmother, everything. Imagine you take a child from the mother because you want to have custody, shared custody, primary cut, whatever. As soon as my son was released, Without any notice, without anybody knowing, he packed up everything. He was 18 and left Maryland and moved to California. He left his father and never saw him again. So my son went missing for like a good 10 years. Nobody knew where he was. They were looking for him everywhere. That's what I heard. I used to talk to my son all the time on Twitter. Then in 2014, there was no communication anymore. Remember, I had not seen him since 2003, that famous Valentine's picture at his school. So 2003 to 2014 is 11 years. And I had already moved away. I'm activating the Stars Party. I'd already moved away, guys. Moved to Canada, moved to Nigeria. So he had an accident. His leg was almost amputated. So the time kept piling up. 11, 12 years, 13 years, and I never heard from my son again. He went through a lot. In 2019, he called me right out of nowhere. We had his number. Nobody picks up. So like, we just did FaceTime, and he came on live. We spoke to him. Then in 2021, I've not spoken to my son since 2021 until last week on Instagram DM. And I said to him, I said, I want to know the whole story. It's too long. But what his father did to him affected him spiritually. So he cut off every family member, including me that I was even in Nigeria, I didn't know anything. I said, so you cut me off too, huh? I'm like, no, it's like, I just didn't want to talk to anybody. Sometimes a child wants to be alone. So at the end of the day, what is 2003? I spoke to him last week on Instagram DM. I don't know where my son is. I don't know if he's in California, in Maryland. I don't know where my son is. I don't know if my son has a wife, whether he married, whether he has children, whether I have grandchildren. I don't know anything. All I know is somebody I'm speaking to in the DM every three years. He felt, I'm not a pastor, Emma. Stop. Delete that comment, please. All right? And it's not fun. Delete it fast, 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 because I'll block you. Today I woke up, Valentine's of 2003. Today I woke up, Valentine's of 2003. I haven't seen my son for 21 years. So how do you feel? How am I supposed to feel about it? My son feels bad that I sent him to go and live with his dad, but he doesn't understand I didn't send him to go and live with his dad. A judge did that because that's the way his father wanted. When a judge sends your child to go and live with their father because of court order. You have things going on with you that you can't discuss on this life. When Niger PR had a show on Twitter space, on Twitter, Niger PR, the digital creation page, the show started at 1 a.m. when Nigerians are already asleep. And the show was, tell us something that nobody will believe you. There are many things I can tell you. 
that nobody will believe me. There are many things you can't tell me because nobody will believe you. There are many things some of you cannot even say. When I told you that the girl that Chioma had for David was actually a girl, not a boy. After she failed to have a boy, because Igbo law says a boy is the heir, they now dress this girl as a boy throughout three years and the child died. When I told you that if I was actually murdered, people didn't believe me. In spirituality, you can see where the truth is. But in religion, no, we're not believing her. You're not believing because David told you he's a girl. We're not believing it because David told you he drowned. Where journalism separates from religion, okay? Where journalism separates from religion and spirituality is here. You say your child drowned in a pool in your house. The house does not belong to you, so that's a lie. Nobody drowned in Banana Island, so that's a lie. According to Banana Island Estate Office, no one drowned in our estate. Celebrities in the estate said they all rushed to the office when it happened, and we told them nope, there was no drowning. So where did your child drown, Davido? How about telling the world that your child was killed and then thrown into the water? Meaning that the child actually drowned in the water, not in the swimming pool. If we go further into that, Nigerians will say this is a mad woman. Do you know that when you drive somebody crazy, they can actually go mad? People go mad not just because they use drugs or they did they, they go mad sometimes because people drove them mad because spiritual people saw the truth and you didn't believe them monica thank you you understand what i'm saying how many journalists in nigerian media actually went past benjamin Hunde? When Benjamin Hunday came up on Twitter and said, we have confirmed that their delicate boy, Ifain, drowned in a pool. The case is now closed. Please give the, pri the, the family privacy. How many journalists will go behind Hunday and go and dig more? None. So it's in the history books that Ifain drowned. Give, give the family privacy. But another history book, 100 years from now, none of us are here. You are not here, I'm not here. For 100 years from now. Somebody 100 years from now, we now read, who is this Kenny lawyer that said the child did not drown in a pool? This is why you have to put history in place. This is where spirituality lies. You want to compromise my sanity and I have suicidal thoughts because I battle with PTSD. No, it won't work. Did I bring the sniper? I won't even use sniper in my house for insecticide because it's a poison. And it's one of those things I can see through. The minute you buy that sniper, what kind of insect do I have in my house that will require me to put a sniper in my house? Something that will possibly release inhalants that will cause my asthma. How they doing? It's not being deep. I didn't really say you are deep man. It's spirituality. Happy Valentine's Day to everybody. Me, I don't celebrate it so. 21 years, I haven't seen my middle son because he left an angry home. <clears throat> anyway, we'll link Sunsha. He's very bitter about what happened with his father and his stepmother. If me, I'm here. What should Anderson Cooper say? 35 years, his brother walked away and estranged himself from the entire family. Isn't that what I did with my own family too? I estranged myself from my family. So let's go to Igwe. Igwe. The Nigerian media, useless as always, they reported to you 
that's Axel advancing you, Herbert, with Wig was killed in a helicopter crash in the US. That's what you saw, right? American media reported to you that a Nigerian banking executive My mother accused me of having sex with my father for years. He dug a hole in my heart. I know how you feel now. I'm sorry about that. The internet accused me of being raped by my dad. I don't know where they got that from. But it's that girl like Cutie Juice and Esabot that started it. Esabot already apologized to my family, but Cutie Juice continued when I'm done with people. Cutie Jules, so of all people, raped in the middle of the streets in London, and her child is almost 20 years old. If I tell her own story, it's going to be bad. Okay? People beg me. I'm not doing journalism anymore. If I go out and create a website or a journalism page and it's anonymous, you will just cry in Nigeria, but I have no time. If I open a faceless blog, you will die when you hear the news I will report. But I have no time and money. There's no money in faceless blogs. You're always hiding. You can't do advert, all that nonsense. Not for me. When I hear happy Valentine's Day, I just like, you're supposed to love people every day. People are asking me, have you committed suicide? Imagine. Emmanuel Ede, um, you should rest, so we'll remove you from my page, okay? You come to my page and you're telling me rest. Rest for what? When news breaks that somebody was killed in a helicopter crash, and they could be... Spunky Porches, I'm sorry to tell you this, please, no emojis. I mean, no GIF. I don't like GIFs, please. All right. I have one eye and it distorts my entire cerebral thing over here. So no gifs, I beg, please. I've done a post about this before. I want to delete that gif. I'm trying to delete that gif, but it's not going. It distorts, it distorts my, um, what is it called? Thirty years of journalism ended. None of you send me any gifts. Some of you send me stars, thanks. My account number was left up there. I opened my blog. Um, I've not launched it yet. When Herbert Wigway died in America, many of you didn't know who he was. Some of you knew who he was. He's the one you see in the Access Bank commercials. Herbert Wigway was 57 years old. Many of these young people I grew up with in Lagos. People I grew up with, Ogubancho. Kola Lagwada died in September. And you have stock has changed. Bimbo died with Wigwe. I can see all those guys up there now celebrating in heaven, but spirituality says they don't go to the same place. Thank you, Spunky Porches. Big cry for you too. I want to explain to those of you who are Nigerians, who are at home, who believe in my work. And who like to learn. This show is dedicated to you. Those of you who are not in America or Canada. And you're in the UK or somewhere else. This is also for you. You need to know how things work. You need to know how things work. Ebere Chukustas... Um, the issues with stars right now, if you're at home, if you want to send a donation, you can do it. It's on the featured post. 
I will post the Star Stores link. I want you guys to listen carefully now on what happened to Wigwe. Wigwe was assassinated. Afion Bassi, if you need my Zell DM, thank you. It's up on the top, on the featured posts. As you arrive in my page, you see the top featured posts. Swipe, you see all the accounts there. Kemi Talks Media, Yahoo.com is my email. Kemi Talks Media at Yahoo.com, Bank of America. Thank you. Appreciate it. Listen, people. Please don't spam stars at the bio. Those are not the stars we're asking for. Don't get blocked. That's why I tell you guys not to spam stars. Herbert Wigway went to America on business. Tim Tokwe Oti said, I'm a gift for a long time. Oh, yeah, gift me to zero. I can't number one, well, okay. Wigwe went to America on business. They said he went to the Super Bowl in Vegas. Let me tell you about the Super Bowl, the ultimate football game. Whether he was a fan of American NFL football, I don't know. But they said he was heading towards the Super Bowl. Because I'm not doing journalism anymore, I'm not investigating Wigwe's case. I'm just doing the show from a spiritual standpoint of what I've seen. Bimbo did not like football. I don't know why he was on the plane to Vegas, but the fact that you don't like NFL football does not mean if a billionaire calls you, yeah, let's go and watch. I have a box there. You know what a box is? A sky box is a box where all the celebrities are watching the game. You saw how Taylor, Taylor Swift were born inside a box. You saw Jay-Z and Beyonce. That was Jack Dorsey sitting next to Beyonce. If you look well, Jack Dorsey of Twitter. So these boxes cost $1 million. So Wigwe was going to watch the Super Bowl and he had a box there for him, his wife, his son, and of course, Bimbo. I don't know where they were coming from. I don't know any details, but when I got the news, many of you got the news on Saturday night. I got the news on Friday because of the time zone. 10 p.m. Las Vegas time plus 8. That's 6 a.m. Nigerian time when it happened. You guys got the news Saturday night. Remember, 10 p.m. Vegas time is 8, excuse me, 6 a.m. Nigerian time. So the crash happened 6 a.m. Nigerian time and you guys heard around 6 p.m. 12 hours later. Shola the A, the PA, was the one that sent the message to Nigeria that there was a crash. He did not go on the helicopter because they said that he had to accompany the luggage by road. That's nonsense. Okay, that is nonsense. What's luggage by road? Helicopter has a weight of things they can carry and people they can carry you. But if the luggage can't go with them, fine. And someone had to accompany the luggage. Why is it the age that it took? For someone that wealthy, why is it Shola that had to accompany the luggage? Why was it Cheesy there? Ask questions, guys. Cheesy is the oldest child. Olamio Yakim, please, everybody, don't spam stars, please. Why wasn't cheesy with Shola and the luggage? If you're traveling with your family, at least the, the, the main part of your family, and your luggage is going by road, why is there not a family member with that luggage? 
There are many questions to be asked. Nigerian media is not going to ask it. Because as always, Nigerian media does not investigate anything. Now, she's of our week with the wife. I brought out the wedding picture, you saw it. Till death do us part. They've never been separate. They've always been together. She's up, but it's not investigative journalism. Ayo, 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 delete that comment. I don't want anyone to get any wrong information. This is not investigative journalism I'm doing. I'm doing spirituality here. I'm not practicing anymore. I don't want people to have any, any kind of whatever. I'm not investigating anything. I'm just telling what I know happened. The heir to Wigwe's fortune is the oldest boy, Chizu. The matriarch to that fortune is Chizoba, his wife, who are both on the flight. One of his big boy friends, Bimbo Gumbanjo, who's also our friend, Bimbo was also there. Bimbo buried his father in December, December 12th or 13th. They did the big funeral for Chris uh, Gumbanjo. His father was a big entrepreneur. He learned money stuff from his father. Mimbo was the manager of um, the stock exchange, I believe. He's a big forex boy, Sha. Onyeka, ignorance does not excuse stupidity. I'm not yapping you, I'm giving you knowledge. Now, big man picking, know why he followed you. No. When I say ignorance, you don't know something, ask. In the royal family, everyone that's a guy must be in the army or the navy. They must serve. All of them. I watched Prince William born, Prince Harry, all of them. I watched them all born to Diana. One day all those boys would go to the Navy, the Air Force, and they did. They have their medals, they have everything. But in the royal family, Prince Charles could not travel with his sons on air. Because if the plane crashes, there will be literally nobody to be king of England and you'll have to pass it to a little girl or a little boy. And nobody wants a small baby prince sitting on the throne every day. It won't, it won't make sense. So that's a rule in the royal family. Governments also have that rule. When Jonathan traveled to Ibadan, for the Olubadon's coronation. Whenever they're going to government house, the helicopter passes through our house. You will see all the, the wind. All our clothes will be flying in the wire, the wind, the trees, because that helicopter it has to go through to go to go. But we are looking at government house up the hill. So that is how it is. The vice president cannot be on the plane with the president because if he crashes the leader of the senate becomes the president of nigeria Bukola Saraki. so we used to have a joke in those days like ah i'm sure if this thing crashes now on top of our house now Bukola will become president he finally become president bad joke but it's not about big man picking ignorance never excuses stupidity it's not about being big or anything it is spiritual. If they thought it well, what made them enter the helicopter? Distortion of news. I taught you about fake news. I taught you about distortion of news. I taught you about underreported news and I taught you about suppressed news. Four different things. Underreported, they're not going to report it. Suppressed, it happened and they move it down. So you don't hear it. Fake news, it didn't happen. Okay? When Dr. Penking was posting a plane that crashed in Florida two days before, he posted it and said that this is the crash that killed Wigwe. One, Wigwe didn't die in a plane crash. Helicopter was his own. Two, it was at night. Where did you get this one? Daytime, Florida. You see how people like post fake news? You see sometimes just make it the news. That's fake news. Underreported news. Something happened, but you're not going to see much. 
The widow's son, daughter, whatever died. But we're not going past what the police told us. We don't want to hear what Kemi is saying that the child was thrown into the water after they killed him. Underreported. Suppressed news. You are not going to hear it today, today. It happened, but you are not going to hear it. There's plenty of that in Nigeria. Kemi lawyer said that Abakiari has died. The chief of staff to Buari had COVID and he died. They cremated him. He's gone. They cremated him because he had COVID. And COVID is an infectious disease, so nobody. There is no dead body. They have cremated him his gone. Meanwhile, the cable NG, big media, they posted a story. Cable NG said they spoke to Abakiari's family. Go well, and look at it now. They're the ones that look stupid. Nigeria's attacking Kemi lawyer for saying Abakiari is dead and buried. Cable NG just spoke to his family. And they said he's doing well. You see how suppressed news was. The family suppressed the news. By telling Kebu and he's doing well when he's already dead. Thank you for the premium stars, Bumi Bakari. You don't understand. That when someone said Wigwe was on the helicopter tour. Please tell me, did anybody hear that one? They said Wigwe was on an helicopter tour. Wigwe was on helicopter tour. You don't do helicopter tours at night. Wigwe died in a helicopter on top of the Mojave Desert. The Mojave Desert. The Mojave Desert is one of the works of spirituality. God created the Mojave Desert. When God created the heavens and earth, where did he put the deserts? He put the desert in North Africa. Sahara, Algeria, all these all this desert-like areas, Egypt. He put the desert in UAE. Saudi Arabia, all these desert places. But many people around the world, especially some Nigerians, did not know that there are deserts in America, Nevada. The Mojave is an extensive desert. I would love to see the Mojave Desert. But the only way you can see it well, you can carry a helicopter tour. A lot of people pay for these helicopter tours to see the Mojave Desert from above. There's not somewhere you can actually trek and all that stuff. Even the people that own America don't know everything inside the Mojave Desert. The sand dunes are very heavy. If you inhale too much sand, you can get DVT. That's what killed David Bloom in Iraq when we were covering the war. There's also something spiritual about the Mojave. Please. Kobe Bryant died. Bumi, thank you for the premium award. Thank you so much for these stars. Kobe Bryant died. Going to a basketball game for his daughter and the coach was on board, his wife, you know, people were on board, but with Kobe, we always hear about and the daughter. Remember I was the one that broke the story that the daughter was actually on the flight when people didn't know in Nigeria. I said the daughter was on the flight. Ikena, the video with the, um, showing the helicopter crash in the daytime, it was not a helicopter, it was a plane. And I know you questioned it in the daytime, meanwhile the one was at night. That was actually not a helicopter, that was a plane, and I know the pilots on that plane. You have to be in the American pages to see. Peter Bush has the name of that heroic pilot. That was a private plane. Wigwe was filthy rich, so he could have a house anywhere he wanted. They landed in a private jet in California, Palm Springs. The private jet could not go to Nevada because 
visibility was poor. They should have gone back home or to their hotel or where they were staying. But Wigwe wanted to go with the trip. Wigwe wanted to continue the trip. The private jet landed safely. He wanted to continue the trip. So they hired a helicopter to continue the trip from Palm Springs to Vegas. So when they hired the helicopter, according to the NTSB, National Transportation Safety Board, Afion, you said alert on the Zell. It won't show alert until you send the token on. Hold on. The National Transportation Safety Board says that it doesn't show an alert and should actually send the money. Kemi Talks Media at Yahoo.com. There's no alert. It only shows when you send it. Go ahead and send it if you have my email now. Bank of America. I'll tell you. Thank you. They took, I'm telling you details that Nigerian media will too, and I'm trying to not even do any kidney. Okay, let's wait for it. I feel, I, I'm telling you what they will not do, and I'm not doing journalism. I want to say it's richer impacts, in, you know. What is happening is, we are continuing on the helicopter. The National Transportation Safety Board says, that's my email for Zello. Dio, thank you. They said that when the helicopter entered the terrain, guys, do you know the helicopter? Terrain, do you know what that means? They said it was a wintry mix of ice and snow and rain. When you enter a terrain that you're flying, the terrain is the skies. When a plane takes off like this, they're going 24,000 feet. Uh, Abidjan to Lagos, 24,000 feet. Ghana, Accra to Dubai, 34,000. They will keep going until they reach it. So they're above the clouds. Helicopters can't go that high. So when they hit the lower terrain, Boom, the plane, the helicopter was on fire at the same time. Guys, the helicopter was on fire when it hit the terrain. According to the NTSB, National Transportation Safety Board in America is the one that investigates all accidents on transportation. Plane, trains, automobiles, and even um, helicopters. Flight data recorder. That will tell you what they were talking about and what the pilots were saying before the crash. Were they calling for help? Were they telling the passengers to put their seat belts on? Whatever. The screams of the passengers as the helicopter crashed. The horrors, everything was captured on a plain flight data recorder. The helicopter had no flight data recorder. It was not required to have one. Nigerians, don't sit back and keep quiet. You could be next. This is our chance to get the NTSB, especially Nigerians abroad. This is your chance. Okay, this is why you need your journalists. Me, I'm out of journalism. You need your journalists to advocate for everybody. This is your chance. To let the NTSB know. Americans are blasting the NTSB on their YouTube. Why were there no flight data recorders in these helicopters? Airbus that makes all the latest planes are the ones that made. This Airbus was made by Airbus helicopter. 
no flight data recorder, as if Wigwe's oldest daughter is alive. She's now the head of the empire. And this girl, I don't know if she knows anything about money. If she wants to sue them, now how is she going to sue them? What is she suing for? It won't bring them back. How much money does she want? They have more than that. Because you have money, ignorance does not ask you to investigate something. Because of money, money, money. Why did Wigwe decide to continue the trip to Vegas? In a helicopter that was owned by a company out of Burbanks, Burbanks, California is where the rich people live. Helicopter company out of Burbanks chartered it and she wanted to get to that Vegas. Only to, only to find out that these guys didn't have a flight data recorder. Now, I used to travel in a helicopter all the time and do traffic reports. Guys, do you remember those pictures I posted? WSB Atlanta, when Captain Herb invited me for a few days to follow him and do traffic reports. He trained me in traffic reports in airborne. God bless Captain Herb, he passed away. So when we get up there in the helicopter, we're doing traffic, all the gadgets are there, we're you know, transmitting the traffic live to the radio. If you live in Atlanta or you live in America, you should know WSB, Sky, Sky um, Lounge. I think if my plane or my helicopter crash, I should have the right to know. My family have the right to know at least. My last words, my last scream, something. Something is wrong with this slide. Guys, can you hear me? Can you type? Comments are not moving. Nothing is moving. I hope it's not frozen. Guys, please, can you type? I need everybody to type if you can hear me. Something is... Something is not right, though. Good. I hear you guys. You can, I can hear you. Okay, good. I guess everything just froze up. So I'm sure you understand what's going on. The whole point of it was we quit tweeted that let's count our days. Spiritual. Let us count our days. Must we count our days? When Ajimobi did that interview, the governor of Oyo State, and said, I'm going to be 70. 70 is enough. I've done everything I want in life. The minute he said 70 is enough, he spoke affirmation to his own death and died at 70. Wigwe said, we should value life that is a precious gift. A chance to breathe, feel, love, experience, and connect. So by him going to watch the Super Bowl was enjoying his life. A time to breathe, to feel, to love, to experience, and connect. Let us honor this gift by living with purpose, kindness, and gratitude. Making every moment count. But he ended it by saying, let us number our days. Affirmations. The same affirmation that Ajimobi said. I've done everything. I'm 70 years old now. 70 is enough. And he died later that year. He died in June. He said this in March. Herbert Wigwe tweeted on the 19th of January. He died on the 9th of February. 99. Two nines in there. Angel number. When I arrived in his announcement on Access Bank, I posted this and I said 444. Four, four. Only someone spiritual can see this. When I saw 444, four, four, I said, well, he's an angel now. And I put the round circle on his head. The power of the tongue is strong. Onumaku is right. Ayo. Anything you say, you affirm it. Affirm
affirmations are very strong in spirituality. I will make it in life. My music will blow. My son, Rich KJC, will get a Grammy this time next year. He has a Grammy sitting in front of me. Now that the Grammys have said that, we don't care about your followers, your numbers, your streams. Ah, the game has changed. African artists are now in trouble. The person that won the David and Burner category, Best World Album, those guys, I went to their pages when the nominations happened in November. They had 3,600 followers. They didn't even tweet about the nomination. They won the Grammy. Their followers now, 100k. I want David O'Brien and Whiskey. They were 15 million followers. Lori, they couldn't win. Affirmate your life in spirituality. Affirmations matter. You affirm it. If you don't want it, don't affirm it. I'm going to be a U.S. Congresswoman. I'm going to be a senator later. They didn't like me to do politics in Nigeria. I would do it in America. Affirm it. Everybody type your affirmations right now. Type your affirmations so I read it. Affirm something on this show. Powerful black men don't travel in helicopters. Why did we get travel? When I said affirm, you guys are not typing what you're affirming. You're, you're typing affirmation. I said type what you want to affirm, not the word. I mean, global personality of influence. That's an affirmation. Type what you want. I affirm that it shall be well with me. I'll be great in life. I'm a billionaire. Right. I will for your hand. Now you're typing. Let us count our days. It's a spiritual affirmation that Wigwe made for himself. He counted his days. Why? I am 70. Valentine's Day in the city. Every couple running around town looking pretty. Everybody telling me. I am 70. 70 is enough for. Oh. That's what Ajim will be affirmed. And he died three months later. By this time next year, my driving license and job, I will have it all. That's one affirmation. I'm going to be a... I affirm I'm getting my U.S. visa next month. Amen. In spirituality, we use affirmations more than prayers. Prayers are good. But affirmation goes beyond prayers. That's to say nobody's stopping me. No devil, no evil spirit shall stop you. No evil spirit shall touch you. No negativity that touch you. I affirm that $2 billion will drop in my account. And that we're talking. Affirm it. I affirm to all my followers on this live that no weapon shall form against you. And this weapon will not prosper. Affirmations are very important. Valentine's Day in the city. Everywhere we're running around town looking pretty. Everybody telling me my face is looking shitty, but you can't expect a smile from a person telling lonely. Valentine's Day in the city. Make sure you go and watch it. Valentine's Day in the city. Every couple running around town. 
This is looking shitty, but you can't expect this love from a person feeling lonely. Look at my boy. Chris Kenya has the biggest roles on every couple running. My son. Everybody telling me my face is looking shitty, but you can't expect this smile from a person feeling lonely. Valentine's Day in the city. It's just like Valentine. I hope you all get your affirmations. Amen. You see, you look at look at look at everybody affirming. I'm not saying prayer is a bad thing. Jerry Eze will tell you that. It's not a bad thing. But affirmations means and also Joe Austin, Lakewood Church, will tell you about affirmation because if you ask God for one thing, Austin says don't ask again. He has already heard you. And he would do that stuff. So you affirm it and say, yes, God, I know you've heard me. I want that car. I want this. I want that. But it is very, very important that you know that God has heard you. There's a history of helicopter crashes in California and Nevada border where the Mojave Desert is. Has anybody heard about the Bermuda Triangle? Have you ever heard of the Bermuda Triangle? It's a portion of sea in the Caribbean where ships just disappear. Ships just go down and disappear. Planes have also gone down there and disappeared. Not a trace. What are you talking about 32,000 feet into the air? A plane is carrying to Dubai. What about 32,000 feet into the sea? That's what's, going, that's what's going on, guys. The same phenomenon on the Mojave Desert that's swallowing helicopters is the same phenomenon in the Bermuda Triangle. So we have to be careful. Some of these places are spiritually tied. Look at how Kobe Bryant and them died. The same way in the horizon there. Heavy fog. When he died, look at how people were mourning wigwig. Fake! Could you not see through all the condolences on Twitter? Every famous person. Dangote did his own, Otedolai, Lumelu, everybody was, it was all fake. Everybody was condoling with him. Ha! And I just attended your house one, you know, in December. That's what Femi Otedolai tweeted. Everybody just attended the house one. Who released the house video? The house is extremely big and ugly. I don't like the house, it's ugly. Houses that are white paint and they look like commercial white transparent buildings, not for me. How much energy is going to be spent into that house? How much diesel are they using for generator into a house like that? It was so big, too much money. A video that Wigwe did not release. Some people released it for him. You see how life is. When Mobad was being attacked and beaten and everything, nobody said a word. But when he died, they released videos. Ayele. But the judge said that if Elumelu and Mephile Wigwe, they all made money through the corruption in the banking sector. Well, but the judge said that before Wigwe died, everybody ignored him. Does it make sense now? The internet never forgets. Does it have any bearing on his death? Ikena, Wigwe did not release a video of his house. A video of his house and we saw every part of that house. Every bedroom. That looked like a hotel in some parts. Every living room. There were so many living rooms. I counted nine living rooms. Some of those living rooms, it's like, the only house that I know that looks like that, but it's not that big. It's Alapo Graham Douglas House in Portacourt. I stayed in that house. There were 200 and something rooms, and every room had a number at the door. 
room number 26, number 28, number, they, the house was so confusing. Alaba will have a meeting in a room and will send all of us out of that room because he don't, doesn't want us to hear what they're talking about. Those judge chiefs will come wearing their long maxi dress, their hat, and their stick in their hand. They will enter one room and go talking about militants and everything. You know what I'm saying? Because they don't want you to hear stuff. There were so many secret parlors in there. They will now send us to another parlor. There's one parlor that has one big fat eye. Oh, Alaba has passed away. God, that, that's um, desktop. I would have wanted it to be mine. You probably forgot to put that in the wheel. An Apple, an Apple desktop. The screen was giant like this. Very nice. So you can go and do internet on that, on that uh, laptop there. We're having a meeting. So I will leave. I go inside the room with the, lap, with the desktop. See we go's house. Many secret parlors there. They now went and released it. Not his wife, not his son, not his daughters, but people that knew him, people that worked for him. I need to know who's here from Ghana. Is anybody in this life who lives in Ghana? They said there's a story rocking Ghana right now. I followed the story from the minute it broke. The murder of Eric Johnson, the owner of Jirakba Dubai. The guy, the guy is a billionaire, he owned a chain of businesses and he had a hotel called Royal Jirakba. Who is he? Jeff Jefferson. Are you in Ghana? Did you read about Eric Johnson's murder? So they said this guy owns this Jirakba Dubai hotel among other businesses. On Sunday morning, 11th of February, I guess Nigerians were with Ghanaians and Nigerians were waiting to watch um, AFCON and we were getting ready to do Super Bowl. That was a busy day. On that Sunday morning, they discovered Eric Johnson's body in the hotel. Sometimes a little bit after midnight, Saturday night, into Sunday morning, they found his body in one of the hotel rooms stabbed with very badly deep wounds and they took his business manager into custody. The business manager knows all his businesses and he knows where all the monies are. They took him into custody. Last Saturday, Abba Aike Bediako, that's a Ghanaian name. This was last Saturday now, last Sunday. Wait, today is what, Wednesday? This was like four days ago. So what happened is, when they took the business manager in custody, Ghana police was tweeting, and this is what I like the internet for. We that were not in Ghana were reading the tweets, everything. Ghana police said we have one person in custody, his business manager. They covered the person's face. They didn't say the name, but we heard it was the business manager. That guy knows where all his money and his businesses are. Aside from that guy, his wife. I don't know about his children. He was murdered, not murmured. He was murdered. By Sunday afternoon, the IGP of Ghana had four more people in custody. They now paraded them, they covered their faces. Now, Ghanaians were upset on Twitter, saying, why are you covering their faces? Police said, we can't show you their faces because they might be defamed. They are innocent until we've proven them guilty. Okay. Me, I was watching this and I wanted to know who they were. By the time AFCON and Super Bowl were going to be ready in the evening, seven suspects total. The business manager, the four in the afternoon and three more. Guys, through the help of one Ghanaian blogger that I sent to a Ghanaian journalist, you won't believe who the people they arrested were. Spiritually, the people around you are bad and evil. Number one, chief security officer for the hotel. CSO for the hotel, the person watching you while you're a guest in the hotel. Night security officer for the hotel, arrested. Chief security officer at night, the one on board at night, because at night is the most vulnerable time for hotels, arrested. The driver that takes the bus to go and carry you from the airport to the hotel, arrested. 
The person that runs the kitchen in the hotel, the head of the kitchen uh, food that you eat, if they will poison you or not, arrested. Several members of this guy's staff, Eric Johnson, arrested. Google it, Eric Johnson murdered Ghana. Hey! I said to myself, I didn't look at it journalistic, I looked at it spiritually. Watch your circles spiritually. Watch your circles. The enemy is within. Look at the party they have for week week. Inside is access whatever. They had Halloween balloons. His last birthday. Halloween balloons. Do you know what a Halloween balloon is? The colors of Halloween. The colors of Halloween. Black and thank you fortunately black and orange black and orange halloween color somebody said yeah hey, but that's the color of access bank that's the color of access bank and so did you see Wigwe's face? I'm trying to get the video. Yes, it was a birthday. It was a surprise birthday. It was his last birthday on earth. Happy Guys, look. Happy he was not even excited. Halloween means death. He was not even excited. The enemy is within you. Look at what my family did to me. My own sister wrote a letter to Premium Times on my dad's letter head. She told my dad we want a meeta. If my dad writes a letter to any agency in Nigeria, everything in that letter must be honored. We want a prepaid meter. Ordinary citizens will fight for prepaid meter all day long. They won't get. So he wrote it on his letterhead, right? If my father has a letterhead, governor, rule lawyer, everything. Dear Nepa, give my children a meter, blah, blah, blah. Fine. Daddy was tired. He's 89 years old, and my sister told daddy that he wanted it. We wanted a meter. Funke, I don't know you're my sister. My daddy just took his letter head out of his cupboard, signed the button, and gave it to my sister and said, Go and write whatever you want. My sister wrote a letter to Premium Time that my father said, I'm a mad woman. My father said all kinds of stuff, and Premium Time did not verify the letter and he published it. Remember the Premium Times article? Came your lawyer is a mad woman. Came your lawyer is a what they have done to me? What my own family have done to me? You don't know. People did not like Wigwe within his own circle. The American embassy is going to cost $600 million and they're building it now in Eco Atlantic. We, we funded a lot of Eco Atlantic. He funded so many projects over there. He had no friends. He run, he bo -bo. The enemies were within. They were all lies. The enemies were within. I was in America when Herbert and AIG created Access Bank. And they wanted to make it a second generation bank. Because at that time, First Bank and Women was all we really had. Union and a few others. Go and go to Obasanjo's government. 
Go to the Minister of Finance of Obasanjo's government, 2002. What did they tell we, we? I've told you the one about the telecoms, right? With David Mack saying that Nigerians don't need cell phones. What did they tell Wigway and AIG? They wouldn't let them open the bank because they were Yahoo boys. How old were you in 2002? Many of you are not even born. Many of you are two years old. In 2002, when Wigway and AIG, I hope you know AIG, his partner, when those boys wanted to form Access Bank, and the Nigerian government told them they're too young to own a bank. Imagine. They're too young to own a bank. Two to two. They formed that same bank in 202. Angel numbers. Wigwe died in 2024. 2024 minus 2002. How much is that? 22. See? 2024 minus 2002 is 22 years. 222. Two, two. Go and find out what 222 two, two is. The angel number 222. Two, two. I don't know anything about the RCCG. I just know that he was doing so much and he was about to branch into Asia. Wigwe was taking access back to Asia. He was going above some people and he was unstoppable. They stopped him. It was only an accident, right? Okay, so how we captured in Amdikani was also an accident. Namdikanu was captured in Kenya, outside Nigeria, and they could manage to can capture him. Who did that job? Was it in Tapu? Wake up, people. God may expose all of them. Look at what happened between MFLE, I said MFLE, uh, Elumelu and Otedola. Maybe I told you. Maybe I reported it to you. When I reported it, did you believe me? You didn't believe me. Now, it's on your means. Until you see it in the Nigerian punch, or the Nigerian vanguard, or Nigerian tribune, you will not believe me. I'm not in journalism anymore. Wigwe and AIG could do no wrong. These boys had brain. Anyone that went to the University of Nigeria, Unsuka, they knew about money, finance, and our stupid governments does not promote a university carrying the name of the country. Look at the people that went to the University of Nigeria, Unsuka, the finance department up there. You should be promoting it online. Every university abroad is promoting university online now. Come and be in Harvard University online. You pay them $1,500. They will give you a degree after you study for three months there. Every university is online. Why are Nigerian universities not online? Why are we not posting on Facebook? University of Nigeria, Onsuka Finance Department, study online. You will make money, but no brains. The people that have brains, you don't insult us. You don't insult us, chase us out of Nigeria. Every last university they give online certificate now. OB, Ezekwesili, Aruma, Ote, Herbert, Wigwe, Ngozi, Okonjo, Ewela. I'm coming. To restore the dignity of man. Do you 
think I made well in that speech? If you want to go to Harvard University, Afyong, I will check. If you want to go to Harvard University now, look at me, I want to take a course in Harvard, a pharmacology course, so I can like improve my pharmacology. I haven't practiced pharmacy for a good 10 years in a drugstore. And I've celebrated my 35 years in pharmacy, but I want to know the latest innovations in drugs because of these 18 months I did volunteering with the NDLE. Why is drug use so much more? The cost is $1,500. Three months and I get a Harvard certificate. You can't pass Facebook and not see one big university from around the world promoting courses online. After COVID, anything is possible on Zoom. The whole University of Nigeria and Suka, no courses online. When we have the best day. What I was talking about AIG and Wigwe, they could do no wrong. UAM motto, restoring the dignity of man. Call them what you want. The banking and business alumni in, UA, in UNM, world class. But no, we'll be busy doing all kinds of rubbish and we call ourselves government. OBS Ekwezili was once the Federal Minister of Education and she once worked at First Bank. She has done economic advice, so she has done everything. She went to that university. Aruma Ote, SEC, Nigerian Securities Exchange Commission. I took a picture with her. I met her in a hotel one night like that. She has done a lot in African Development Bank. She went to the University of Nigeria. Ebati Gwe, she went to University of Nigeria. Charles Chukuma Soludo, governor of Anambra, former CBA, he went to University of Nigeria, a university that carries so many people that know about money. You know, nobody knows about marketing there, anything. Do you guys know uh, Neka? Neka Oyali Ikwe, the first woman that headed Fidelity Bank, she went to the University of Osuka. Araronu went to the University of Osuka. Do you know Simon Araronu? All these people went to the University of Osuka. Bank of Industry, sure you know, that's where Araronu is. Tunde went to the University of Isikatu. You know Tunde, Wema Bank, the CEO of Wema Bank. Tunde, Tunde worked at CBN as a deputy governor at, at one time. Tunde Lemo, Tunde Lemo, the Lemo Lemo, the CEO of Wema. And of course, Iberto too went there, Kritus Iberto. People that know about money, genuinely know about money. We were at AIG, Obasanjo's government said they were too young to phone him back. Anything to stop you spiritually, and that's the same thing happening in Nigeria today. Yeah, 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 oh boy. That's literally what they were saying now. Too young to open a bank. Yeah, Peter will be with this. I was just highlighting the ones in the money sector. Tunde Lemon. But you see where I'm saying that the university itself does not do what they're supposed to be doing. They're supposed to be promoting that. Uh -uh. Come to the University of Nigeria. And it's already the University of Nigeria. Even we, the first university in Nigeria and in Africa, University of Ibadan, is named after our hometown, Ibadan. Your own University of Nigeria. You see that misrepresenting Nigeria up and down, cursing everybody because they lose football. It's the fans that made the super Eagles lose. Me, you know, spiritually, I saw it. If I say somebody is going to lose, maybe I wasn't even talking about South Africa. Nobody saw the bigger picture. Kevin okay, said, Super Eagles is going to lose. You sat down on South Africa, cursing me, cursing me, bullying me. Then I said, Okay, let me shall go and bring the sniper. Maybe okay, when I die, you'll be happy. And what did I see? People enjoying themselves that have died. See? 
sorry, Godwin Emefili, CBN, um, whatever. Emefili went to University of Nigeria too. Aruma Ote, Godwin Emefili, Obi Sikwizili, Tundelemu, Kletu Sibeto, um, I mean, famous people. People that knew their money. That's why I like people like Dollar. Do you know Dollar? MTA Marketing Director. Dollar Bangoye, my friend. I grew up with Dollar since 14. He died too. Because he's quiet now. Everybody don't go, hey! Dollar! Go to MTA and nothing will not help you with. Dollar! Ah, those guys will be in heaven now. I hope they see each other. And spiritually, they say we might not see each other. But what I want to tell you guys is if you need a hundred million dollars, I mean, you know, a hundred million naira to build a shopping mall in your hometown, and you go to Okundola Bangui, I grew up with him 14 years old, we knew each other. If you go to if I need 100 million to build a shopping mall in my hometown, I, I go to First Bank that I've been with since 50 something years. This, my birthday will make 55 years at First Bank for me. My birthday, I'll be 60. So 55 years at First Bank. When I turned 50, it was 45 years at First Bank. When I was 55, 50 years at First Bank, they tweeted that. Um, If First Bank says they're going to give me 18 million as a loan for that mom, that means I still need 20 million, right? If I went to Access, Wigway would give me the whole 100 million. That was Wigway. Herbert could do no wrong. They killed him. They killed him. Why did he get on the helicopter after they landed safely when the pilots of the plane said they were having problems with the weather? Why did he continue the trip? He was making sure the American embassy got that money. He was making sure Somebody said something about RCCG, I don't know anything about that, but he was doing so much. They got rid of him. Guys, you remember that story I said about two years ago about Tedola and Elu Melu? Was it two years ago? 2022 or 2023? Where Elumelu told us that to sell some of his shares. Do you guys remember that story? Elumelu told us that some of his shares he could sell it to a foreign company, and Otedola decided to sell those shares. And guess who bought the shares? Tony Elumelu bought the shares. Tony Elumelu told Otedola to sell shares in his company to a foreign company and Tony was the one with an anonymous name behind and bought those shares. You see how businessmen can bring themselves down. You see how businessmen can bring themselves down. Till today, Elumelu and Otedola might be smiling in each other's face. Now lie. The beef is still there. The Nigerian government. I don't know who, please, does anybody know who, Tony brought it, I know, Baba Tunde, Tony, Tony or Elumelu bought the shares behind the $10. That is to tell you the enemies within. So all those people going to Elumelu's house to go and do party, they're all into Illuminati. The Illuminati of Nigeria is distinctively there. Banana Island is the headquarters. They have their little parties inside the islands there. 
A boat will dock, everybody will enter that boat, they go and party. That boat will carry them to another island in the middle of the sea. You will see cocaine being snorted. Ah, don't you remember that story? Cocaine being snorted. BBL girls with all their pom pom. You heard what Messieke said. They forced cocaine through their throat and said, I'm not taking. The guests at the parties, big, big people. I want Sheri Tinubu, I want big boys, I want Sophia. Sophia was the one that they caught using cocaine there. Ah, all those videos I have. There are people on those boats that videotape stuff and send it to me. I saw a lot. Remember when Messi came out and told Ruth that he does not use, she does not use cocaine and she will never take it. She refuses. They'll be forcing cocaine into the noses of those girls when they have their parties. I bet you forgot the Cash App guy. The guy that, that created Cash App. You see how he died? He was stabbed. He was stabbed by the husband of a woman that, that he was sleeping with. When the rich and famous come together, they sleep with each other's wives. It's part of their rituals. Part of their spiritual rituals to get richer. The big men in Koyi, did you just see my report on NTA? NTA, my report about having sex with dogs. I bet you forgot. They will have sex with dogs. Bestiality. And they will carry the thing. They carry the team, go carry, go carry, you know, they carry it to Mutualist's house. Mutuality is deep. What is this? If you want to look at the earthly explanations to spirituality, the earthly explanations will say what's with helicopters and California. The terrain is different over there. There's heavy fog, there's rain, there's wintry ice mix. Where there's snow, there's snow. Where there's heat, there's heat. So when you're mixing snow place with desert place, you are seeing sand, dust mixing with rain and snow. And the minutes, don't you remember what they say? If a sailor falls aboard, go and look at the videos of what happens when a sailor falls aboard a, an aircraft carrier. Ayobami, thanks for the stars. An aircraft carrier is a big ship where... Ah, Ahmed, please, can you turn off that thing? It distorts my eyes. That thing, I don't like emojis. I please, you know. Please don't post emojis, Hamid. Stop, stop, stop. No emojis, please. It's killing my... I, I have to end this video. Or remove you. One of the two, please. Um, um, delete it please I see that valentine one I don't like emojis on my thing okay it distorts my eyes sorry I might have to suspend you know because he doesn't hear me I have to suspend him from the live anyone that has a circle, has enemies in that circle. Things are happening, but when came your lawyer tells me, they say she's mad. I saw a lot when I was in Lagos. A lot of happenings in that equity. Sacrificing children, sacrificing this, sacrificing that. Hey, Joe, hey, you know. We gotta wake up, we gotta wake up. I allow this video to be taken in clips, okay? When you clip my video, please make sure you credit it to Kemi Talks. Do not upload my video to TikTok or YouTube. You are risking your channel. Do not upload my video to TikTok or YouTube. You can only share it on Facebook. If you need to share it, click share. But do not upload it. To anywhere who is going to be in charge of that empire 
They said Herbert Wigwe's body was recovered. I don't know whether they recovered the other people on the plane, on the helicopter. And the body should be in Nigeria today. Nothing was said about the others. The pilot and the co-pilot are also gone. Some poor Americans there that... All the people consoling his family and his father and mother going there to visit them is all lies. They're all together. It's a huge cult in the rich circles of Nigeria. I want to open comments on my page, but I don't want anyone spamming or harassing me. I can't deal with it mentally. I just can't. I can't deal with it mentally. I have my own issues. I battle PTSD and I can't, I really can't. It's now, PTSD may never go, it might be lifelong, but it's now seven years now that I left Kotaka prison. I retired from journalism. I didn't quit journalism. I retired. Okay. I didn't. Re I did not leave social media. I retired from journalism. You won't find me reporting news. What we're talking about today is not news. We're discussing a new story that has to do with spirituality. I don't like unintelligent, daft people. When you ask that question, you act like you're daft. Don't force conversations. Don't say things that make me want to answer you. Don't say stupid things. Herbert Wigwe's death would was an accident on a helicopter. That's what your Nigerian media and your people will say. It was perfectly arranged. And there's spiritual implications. The day you open access bank, subtracted from the day it died, is 2-2. Two, two. Go and find out what 2-2-2 two, two, two means. The angel number 2-2-2. Two, two, two. Let us count our days. It's a tweet he affirmed. I'm done. Questions. I will sit here and be asking I'll be asking you for your questions. Any questions? I've closed Chemified Africa. I don't want to do that project anymore. My blog will open maybe tonight. I'm still setting it up. I'll be sharing all the stories on Facebook. If you have a question, ask it now. About spirituality. I'm not in an earthly realm. I'm in a spiritual realm. Pray at 444 every day if you want to see something. Go and watch my videos on 222. I shut down TikTok, but I, need, I really need to open it so that you can watch the videos I've done before. And just some things I don't want to do again. Angel number 222. You can Google this and go to USA Today. You type in angel number 222. You Google it. Angel number 222 signifies good fortune in finances. He was a financial guy. Relationships and career. Wigwe had a good relationship with his wife. I told you that Chizoba was always beside him. Always with him. Every event. We, we had no side chicks, none of that. 
till death do us part. And death self did not do them part. They died together. Imagine. Do business owners use angelic numbers? You have to ask business owners. I don't know. Angel numbers is for everybody. I don't know about business owners. Everybody has what they use. Some business owners use juju. Some use greed. So, you know, so that's not a question. Angel number 222 signifies good fortune in finances, relationships, and career. And that was a big way. It's also a reminder to work towards your soul's purpose. This number is often associated with the moon and receiving multiple sources of income, wigwe. For single people, it's a sign that true love is coming and a soulmate is near. So if you open your Facebook, your Twitter, your Instagram, if you just anywhere you go and you see 222 showing you, 222 comments, 222 something, you look at the clock, it's 222, you know what's coming. Same thing with 444, same thing with 999. There's a lot to know about angel numbers. Any other questions? I've told you on Yeka, business owners, um, if you're talking on their behalf, it's not a question. Huh? Anybody can use spiritual numbers. The spiritual meanings to many things. And number two. In 2002, they opened access back. And they almost got turned down. 2024, he died. You hear people say sex is spiritual. Is it true? Sex is definitely spiritual. Have you not seen people who have had sex with their, you know, um, children? The Nigerian Grammy Award producer who had sex with his daughters and they had babies for years inside their house. He will have sex with his daughters, they'll get pregnant, they'll deliver the baby downstairs inside their house in the dungeon and they live there for years. As Swadnam, he has won a Grammy for producing the album of the Fuji. Type him in, Aswadayinde. What those children went through. Shebi was me that actually broke the story. I was the one that even got into the story. I was the one that reported the wife. See him now. Go and Google it. I'm the one that called police on the wife. The wife knew everything going on. Aja Uzoma, we don't utilize HL numbers. We know what they are. And we're aware of them. And then when you start seeing them, you will know. It's not something we use. That's religion. Stay away from Zodiac. And stay away from Tarot. Okay, I have no advice for young millionaires. If you say Pansy Sterling is a fake account, what's your advice for young millionaires? I'm not a millionaire. I'm not doing a financial show. I'm not doing an advisory show. Okay, I'm doing a spiritual show. What you're asking is more like advice what kind of advice does young millionaires need some people are trying to be young millionaires you're asking me what advice do i have no i don't have any advice this is the wrong show Aja, i said we don't utilize angel numbers that's religion know what they are and know how, how they affect you how can we get rid of blood sucking rulers spiritual i don't know okay spiritually you don't get rid of people. Spiritually, spiritual, spirituality does things itself. Okay, that's juju. Oh, 
Oh, you can you learn to listen. Yeah, all members of family should not board the same bus or cars. That's not the message. The message I gave you is not all members. Okay, there's a lot of times that we all travel in the same bus or cars as family members. This is not about bus or cars. We're talking, there's times you have to travel with your family in a bus or car. We're talking about air flights. And it's not just about any family. Okay, if I'm traveling somewhere with my children, all my children are on the flight. Anything that you know that they are risky. Based on the makeup of that family, that's what I said. Okay, the royal family has heirs. H-E-I-R-S. Somebody will become king after Prince Charles dies. So if you put Queen Elizabeth in a helicopter or a plane with Prince Charles and Prince William and the helicopter crashes, the person that will become king will be a little boy. That's what I'm talking about. There's some people that just cannot travel together. Like presidents, vice president. That's, my message is not about buses or cars. My message is not about families traveling together. My message is about critical places where family members in monarchies and governments I mean governments are not family members you can't have the president of Nigeria the vice president and the leader of the senate in one plane and then it crashes there's a lot of things you have to think about that's part of why Tinubu didn't go to Abidjan okay because there was a very big memo that they might try to kill him and take over the government. So he didn't fly to Abidjan. He said, go and watch football game. So going back to that swear that in the, this guy had sex with all his daughters and everything. Sex is spiritual. He said he didn't want another bloodline. Not wanting another bloodline means... He fathered six children with his own daughters. He was jailed 90 years. So meaning he would die in prison. Go and read about it. Aswad Ayinde. A-S-W-A-D Ayinde. Nigerian. I broke open the whole thing. I was a journalist in America. It would be in my book. Cases I broke. Everybody remember that time on Facebook. Some of you remember on Facebook when his wife was abusing me. She started a whole campaign against me. That woman is a mad woman. She's 2012 now. When before I left Canada, 2011 to 2012, and people were using it. Some people were using it against me. Some people were cursing. She had her own crowd and everything. In the end, I called the police on her in New Jersey. They arrested her as. Imagine you don't want a new bloodline. You let your husband be having sex with your daughters. You know what I'm saying. Francis, what's your question? My book is an audio book, so I'm trying to submit it. Which of the numbers is good for business? You know, it's not like that, I beg. Go and read about all the... It's not about numbers good for this, numbers good for that. My definition of spirituality is not in this world. Simple, out of this world. Okay, if somebody has an accident, you say, oh, it was an accident. You don't know somebody is in that corner of the world. World, or not spiritually, or corner of the world, doing juju so that they can have that accident. The other person is in that corner. They were the mechanic that serviced the car last and messed up the brakes. Okay, and the third person is there. Spiritually, you can't look at that. You look outside the realm, outside this world. There are many explanations to many things we don't know. Is it good to avoid millionaires, their money and foods? I don't know about that. How do you need to avoid their money and their food? Stop eating outside. We've told you that. Okay, I will open TikTok. Everybody should go there and watch the spirituality videos. Um, I did them, that kind of stuff. I didn't hear me, Rachel. I hope you are not. I hope you are not even saying. You said it's tire still a monolithic. I hope you are ready for what I'm about to tell you. I hope you are not playing around with me. But that question you asked me has gotten me so mad now. Tayo died in 2021. Oh yeah, reply, let me watch you. 
when did I leave Molite? We all left Molite in 2015. Where have you been? Are you abroad? Everybody left Molite in 2015. The building was almost collapsing. We all moved to Chicola by 2015. Tai was with us in Nicola by 2015. 2019, I left Ibadan totally for Lagos. And then 2023, I left Nigeria. Tai died in 2021 in Nicola. He was laid to rest. He suffered his entire life under wicked people. Wicked Nigerians, wicked people. Adeyemi Adeola Rachel, type, reply. Have you fainted where you are? Please don't tell me you don't know that my brother died. The funeral, everything is on this page. You can find it. And you, you are shouting too, typing in caps. She's not replying. I guess she has fainted. My brother has been dead for three years. That's life. Is that all with the questions? When somebody dies in a helicopter crash, their bodies may not be recovered. It could be pieces and hands here, leg there, everything. Forensic people will come and pick up the body parts. They will do DNA tests and they will put the right body parts in the right coffin. They will impound the body parts and they will give the bodies to the family. My TikTok handle is chemical, but I've shut down my TikTok. I will open it after the broadcast, so you have to wait. I don't want to do too much on social media anymore. Some people are conf confusing it with I'm back in journalism. I'm not back home. Nobody has an angelic number. There's no such thing. You guys have to, you have to learn spirituality first. Start following the Dalai Lama. Know what spirituality is. not a number for fun. Can destiny be changed or altered? Yes, spiritually. Destiny can be changed or altered. It happened to Joseph in the Bible. He had a dream. Kemi lawyer had a dream and said, I saw three of our players sick and South Africa. I didn't even mention South Africa. I said, I saw three of our players sick and we lost to South Africa. I saw three of our players sick and I saw Tyler carrying a Grammy and we lost to South Africa because of her energy. She went ahead and won the Grammy. I said, Tyler should win because of the R&B she brought back to Africa, but Brenner will win because Brenner is performing. The clue to who is winning a Grammy, all the performers win, but nobody knew. We were all shocked when we saw the way they opened the Grammy, the premiere show. That's where they give all the awards. So the minute I saw them giving Best African Performer, I said, that's it. Brenner is just performing. It's not winning. But Tyler won. So the bigger picture is for you to look spiritually at what I said. Tyler should win, but Bernard will win. Now that all that one's clear, Tyler will win. Tyler did win. When I said Nigeria is going to lose, I saw three people six. Next thing, three people died, but they were not our players. Spiritually, in that dream, what I saw was three people died. What I saw is three people, three people were sick and they were our players. It wasn't our players, it was three Nigerians that died. Two prominent Nigerians and the NYSC copper. They died watching the game. So I saw something. And I said, Nigeria will lose. So they ended up losing after they got to the final. That's a spiritual vision. It's not a prediction and it's not a prophecy. That's the mistake you are making. Prophecies are by prophets. Prophets are fake. Predictions are fortune tellers. Fortune tellers are fake. Leave tarot and leave zodiac. Okay, numerology is what you go by. Numerology. What numbers are you seeing the most? Type that number down. What number do you see a lot? Then go to my videos on TikTok. I will open the TikTok now. Do you understand what I'm saying? So somebody that asked now, somebody, do I believe in destiny changing? Joseph dreamt. After his own family, inner circle, family members sold him to slavery. Stop telling people.
people your plans. I used to do it all the time. Don't tell your mother your plan. Your mother might be working for one of your siblings. It happened to me. Some lady was on Insta blog last week saying something like, mothers do juju the most. You better go and watch that woman again and hear what she's saying. The boy on legit NG that said that everything she's, she's doing, a young man of 20 something years old, everything I'm doing, when I tell my mother it doesn't happen again. That's spiritual. Some of your mothers are carrying the negative spiritual energy that will destroy your whole career, your whole life, everything. How do you identify enemies in a circle? You identify them because they're the nicest to you. My family is nice. Family, friends, family. You be shocked with family. They're the ones that are jealous of you the most. That's why when you look at spiritual people like Tyler Henry, how is Tyler able to say everything the same? Celebrities sit in front of you. Ordinary people sit in front of you. Tyler will go and talk to the dead. He will come back and I'll tell them what the dead told him. Uh -huh. So, I did it for one person. I said, that your sister in your family that's causing all the wahala. Stop telling her what you're getting in a job, your promotion and everything. All right, your sister, the one that the name starts with S. The person I was talking to said, eh, how did you know? I said, it's spiritual. Is there a sister that their name starts with S in your family? Say, yes, Shadi, and she's the one, she's the problem. You see? But I'm saying why I said my show is educated and spiritual. That's why I call myself the chosen one. That's why people like Tyler are the chosen one. Tyler will go and tell somebody that their dead mother told him to tell them that they shouldn't go to that event, and he will even tell them the event. Some people are chosen, and that's what I wrote. I said, you can't change anything about that. You can bully me all you want. You can't change that, the fact that I'm a chosen one. That kind of stuff. That kind of... Hey, Buka, we're not talking about IPOB. Please, don't spam. I deleted your comments. I don't want a different discussion. When I'm going live, when I'm live with my, my fans, I don't want anybody to start any side discussions, please. It's some, you know... I didn't block you, but I deleted your comments. It happened to Esau in the Bible, it happened to Joseph, it happened to a lot of people. Your enemies are within your circle. Okay, when I gave you the example of Elumelu, Elumelu went and told, many of you have identities on social media where you don't even want to identify yourself. You are not using your account. It happened to me when I was on Instagram the first time. Celebrities with open fake accounts, they're using it to abuse me. They can't use their real accounts because they're scared. And the good thing about chosen one is that you like it, let them be scared of you. You can't have a fake account and not hide your identity and claim that you are a chosen one. So the definition of spirituality is out of this realm. I said nobody should use tarot or zodiac. Numerology is all that works in spirituality. Tarot cards, all those cards that the fortune tellers are reading your card and all that. Quit that shit. It's evil and it's, it's, it's evil and it's fake. Can negative spirituality revelation be averted if you know ahead of time? But many of you don't like the truth when I was a journalist practicing. So how can I give you a negative spiritual, you know, revelation? If I told you your wife is a horrible woman and what she's doing, you won't believe me. You say, oh, no, not my wife. Okay, until it happens. Then you come 10 years later and say she was right. Rachel, you didn't know Tyre died. Yeah, he's gone. Tyre is dead. Just went to bed and didn't wake up again. Yeah, I've been through a lot. An eight-year-old boy inside the riots. Ali must go. I was a 13-year-old girl. You heard my own story. He was 51 years old. I'm just glad he did his 50th birthday, even though all of us were not there. It was pandemic, April 2020, so nobody was allowed to go at lockdown. I ask God. Nobody's in Molite again. Anyway, Shei McIndy renovated the whole building and all. My dad moved back in there. He's the only one there. I don't talk to anybody in my family. They were the source of every evil. 
then me and my children, every one of them. I don't I really have nothing to do with anybody. Nobody knows where I am, nobody can reach me. You guys want me to open comments? Somebody said they want me to open comments so they can have feedback. What is it? Why do you guys like feedback? Those ones in Twitter are also begging. Please open your comment. Why do you like feedback? I don't like spam and I don't like bullying. I don't want that journalism crap again. That's why I decided to blog. I don't want to do Facebook, Twitter, Instagram again. I want to go the old way. You can reach me only by email. No phone, no WhatsApp, none of that. You can reach me by email and you can read my blog, my personal blog. I will be blogging my mindset every single day. Can you know you're blogging her mindset? Any other questions? Um, somebody sent me. When we go now, when his body comes to Nigeria now, everybody will now be going to the funeral. Crowd. I feel like I got it. Thank you very much. Thanks for the gift. Thank you, dear. Thank you so much, Afian Bassi. I got the gift. Really appreciate you. See, that's somebody who's sending me a gift. Only gift to for my retirement. None of you send me any gift for my retirement. Now bear in mind, there might be things happening in society that I may not talk about it because I'm not into the journalism thing. God bless you too, Afion. Thank you, I got it. I may not be discussing it. Like, you will have to go to a very black man and Daniel Rager and all those critics like people. You know, you see what very dark man did. He started by, you know, going after people breaking the law. He, Created his own brand. Next thing you know, he's a huge celebrity. That's what Blessed CEO did as well. You know what I mean? That kind. Of, ah, Ebuka, no, no questions about the nation's situation. Two reasons. I don't live in Nigeria anymore. I don't care. People like me, we spent 11 years wasted. That's the name of my blog in Nigeria. Asked for jobs, begged for jobs, and they ignored us. Now we're gone, and we don't want to hear about Nigeria. That's just the way I feel. Because you cannot, you know what I'm saying, you cannot, what is it called? Doctor, please, is it advisable to relocate to Canada or America? That's not my question. I'm not an immigration consultant. If you are going to relocate to any of those countries, okay, you know what you have to go through. Visas, all that stuff. Not my area. Number two, don't go to North America if you can't afford the rent. The rent is monthly and there's a housing crisis. Nobody has rent, Okay. Nobody has rent. Even my own children. All right? People are suffering. Okay? People have no rent. Rent is high. Don't go to North America if you don't have rent. To one bedroom, two bedroom. You, five of you will live in a one bedroom. You don't want that life now. That's the big problem now. Everywhere, housing crisis. Even Abidjan. Ordinary Abidjan. That kind of stuff. People will be... I hear people saying, Afion, um... Um, Efion Bassi, please answer this, answer this question for them. I hear people saying that, eh, but you get a job that will pay. There are no jobs. Jobs are not readily available. UPS just caught 12,000 jobs last week. My son lost almost $300 in his paycheck. Imagine. He's building up on his music career, trying to get things, you know, looking for another job. My son worked three jobs just to make money to go to recording studio and you know for his music and everything he makes his own music at home and everything but he wants to start getting professional stuff done everything costs money i think you educate the people here nigerians think they go to america to go and live so oh, there will be job to pay this the, the money is more no you don't want to be on minimum wage you know everywhere you go us or canada remember the jobs must be given to the people from those countries before they give it to you Two bedroom, 1,800. That's part of the reason why I'm not there. I don't have it now. Different when you're retired, you're getting retirement premium. That kind of stuff. You know? 
Thank you, Achieno. Thank you, Sophia. My email is on my bio. Check it out. Kemelunoyo444. Ayahu.com. I say Ayahu at gmail.com. Okay, I already said don't open comments because they'll start again. You know, I don't need the mental anguish. Anyone that wants to comment on my new blog has to be a member of the blog and it is $50 a year. I'm making $100 a year. I want to deter people. Okay, you can read the blog or you can comment. There will be a lot of hot stuff. You know, whatever is making you want to desperately comment. I can't, nothing is for free. That whole blog should be subscription on itself. You know what I mean? I'm okay where I am. Thank you. No more questions. Let's end the show. I don't know. I was here from... What time did I start? Nigerian time. Four, eh? Tell me I had a four-hour show. Nigerian time was 12 noon. Was it 12 noon? 2 o'clock. 2 o'clock Nigerian time. Okay, we started at 2 Nigerian time, so it's now 5. It's approaching 5 Nigerian time. So 3 hours show, I, I think I did well. So you guys, do you understand everything I said about Igwe? Igwe was killed spiritually. Ebuka, you keep annoying me. I said, stop going off topic. I have to ban you, please. First, you started Biafra. Now, Tinumbu. Let me ban you, please. I don't want people like this. So, I haven't seen my son for 21 years, and I hope we see him soon. I hope to see him soon, but whatever God wants, you know. I think he doesn't want his father to know where he is. But I'm not his father, I'm his mother, but he keeps telling me, tell me everything later. I pray for him every day. The whole situation hurts me. When he was missing, the police contacted me. You know. Wait, you are a Molite? I didn't hear me, Rachel. And you didn't know the tire was not there. We all left that house. That house was locked up for three years. Nobody was in there. Mango trees were just dropping mangoes. People were jumping the fence to carry mango. I think they were even there. Sometimes we just give the neighborhood mangoes and all that. That one is the past too. I don't have anything to give me the new lawyers. Another year, I changed my name to something else. So, this is the end of pineapple spirituality. Do you guys like that name? Pineapple spirituality. What's going on here? Where are all comments freezing? Comments are not freezing. People are listening. Pineapple spirituality. Before you can enter a pineapple, you must cut it. You can't eat it with the spikes around. See the spikes? You can't eat it with the spikes around. You must cut it. You must see what's going on. Advice, spiritual advice. Okay. Um, Engineer Gregory, thank you. I want to do a... I will open comments tonight and I want to do a spiritual... Q&A, things you must not do for the rest of 2024. Let's keep the spam low. BB, that's a fake name. I don't answer, I don't answer fake accounts. All right. But that was, I'll answer you. I said I haven't seen my son for 21 years. You're seeing 21 days. Who misses their son for 21 days? 20, I haven't seen my son since Valentine's Day 2003. And I'm not going through that story. It's in the video somewhere. Helen, thank you. Love you too. Let me give you advice. Number one, stop eating at people's houses. If you eat at somebody's house at 12 noon and you get home at 6 and you're sick, but you've eaten something on the street at 3 o'clock, nobody can tell who poisoned you. They could have poisoned you from the house you ate at noon. Stop eating at people's houses. If you're going to be sick, be sick from fast food or street food you eat. Don't eat at people's houses. Okay? 
they will kill you and make it look like an accident. That's how Nigeria works. Our own level, that's how we work. Okay, when I say our own level, we that we're ordinary people. Rich people will go as far as following you to where you're going. Let me tell you a story when my mother, when we were in school in England, all right? My mother took us to the British Embassy. No, not to the British Embassy. You know, the Home Office is what would be like the British Embassy over there. She came to visit us in the UK while we were in school. There was a letter that she had to deliver to the Libyan Embassy. The letter was from my dad. And my dad was sending that letter to the Consulate General, the ambassador to the Libyan Embassy in London. So we were in the car. And my mother came out and went inside that embassy. This is the days where the embassy has security, but not as now that you have all these swipe this, swipe that, no phones, all that. My mother entered the Libyan embassy. A woman followed her and entered. Okay? When my mother delivered the letter inside the Lib Libyan embassy in London, she came out of the embassy and entered the car. Okay, you know those taxis, those black taxis in London? Me and my sister were inside that car. My mother entered the car back. The woman that followed my mom to the embassy, as she came out after my mom, my mom, we have already entered the car, and we were about to be leaving. As she came out, a man was standing in the corner and shot her to death. The guy in the corner, pow, 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 and killed her. Okay, there's many things I have seen in my life. Okay, I don't even know if my whole life, 60 years, will fit a book. Because I don't like reading books. I don't know how I'm going to write a book. So that's why I say I'll do an audio book. I'd rather talk for three hours in an audio. So like every, every, I'm not your girlfriend, Candy. Stop that nonsense. I'm banning you now. I don't like jokes like that. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. I don't like it. I've blocked that person. See my girlfriend every year. You don't talk like that. I'm not your girlfriend. I'm not your sugar daddy, sugar mommy. People that say that annoy me to the core. Stop it. There's no familiarity here. Okay? I'm Dr. Kemi, Dr. Lunoyo. I'm not your girlfriend. Why do people like to cross the line? The woman that was killed at the Libyan embassy, I would not forget it. My mother would not forget it. Imagine the shooter. What if the shooter now shot the only witness, which is my mom? What, what would we say then? There are many things that are spiritual you don't know. What makes you be at a place where you shouldn't be? What made Wigwe's aid follow the luggage and didn't get on that helicopter? Some of you are writing online, like, oh, maybe he's scared of a helicopter. You don't know. You don't know what powerful people do. Go to the Jamaica Observer. Jamaica Observer. Go to that paper. You can learn anything. You are Nigerians. Don't act dumb. Don't act stupid. You have the internet. In our own days, there was no internet. Jamaican Observer. Any newspaper in the world, you can Google. Facebook, Jamaican Observer. Go there. Scroll down to last week and see the Wigway story. And see what Jamaicans are commenting. 750 comments, Jamaicans. The first one there, what does it say? Who is this person? Who is this banker? Doesn't he know that powerful black men don't mix with helicopters in America? That's what the person wrote. Doesn't he know that powerful black men don't fly helicopters in America? I feel thank you for learning. Esther, thank you for learning. I'm not Dr. Kemp. Godwin Atik, but I'm Dr. Kemi. And I'm not Kem, 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 Auntie Kem, Kem. It's Kemi, please. Okay? I can't talk more about Bermuda Triangle. Please go and read about it. That's why you have Wikipedia. Okay? There's many ships and planes that have gone, and nobody knows where they are. MH370, MH370 is still missing. We don't know where Malaysia Airlines is. It's vanished. That's spirituality. A plane that vanished, nobody can find it across the Indian Ocean. How many years now? Six years. MH370 is gone. They've said everything. Oh, pilots wanted to commit suicide. Okay, so where's the wreckage? 
He just vanished into thin air. Go to the families of the people on the plane. It's the same thing. We don't know what happened. So at the end, of, I'm not back to journalism. You know me. I'm doing spirituality now. So the Jamaican Observer paper, a Jamaican said, doesn't he know that powerful black men and helicopters in California and America don't mix? They've consulted with all the people they have to consult with, how, how they're going to get rid of Wigwe. When they want to kill you, some people will be in the way and they have to die with you. Don't you understand how it goes? When Marita and Mama came out of our house, you know our house, number two bed well already, Koi. That's where we lived in Ikoi when we were growing up. That's the house Muita Ramami got killed out of. Number two bed well already, Koi. When the convoy came out, they were not living in Dodan Barracks. The ADC was in the back with him. Wait, I said it the wrong way. The ADC was in front. He was in the back in the winner's corner. One single bullet killed all of them in that car. That bullet in the front that entered the ADC's head, he exited his head and entered Muri Mohammed's head before he finally exited. Have you ever seen the driver of that car talk? What do you read in history? They took history away from the class, classroom. Who drove that car? Have you ever seen the driver of Muri Mohammed's black messages ever talk in this world? Godwin Asikpa, I've been finding to get your attention. Now I had it. Okay, thanks, Kem. I said it's Kemi, and I'm going to block you because you messed up by calling me that. You're blocked now. You know somebody doesn't like to be called Kem or Kem Kem. You wanted my attention, and you used that word. So now you're even telling me that's why you got my attention. Now you're blocked. See what happens when people are stupid? Learn history from the right people. I'm a historian, I love history, and I'm also a journalist. Journalism is a rough draft of history. Now I'm no longer a practicing journalist. I'm not going to respond to stories in Nigeria. I'm just going to be doing my own thing. My own thing, I need my sanity. Religion, the only thing that connects spirituality with religion is the Bible. The Bible is a book of old. Thank you for joining me on this live session. I hope to see you soon.